This is not a drill. God damn it. How many bunkers do we have? To the shelter. To the... God damn it. DSP, you're a fucking asshole. Yeah, I feel like we're running out of bunkers. It's insane. Fuck you. Uh, someone should just the Outer Wilds and DSP and in Infinite Wisdom. I'm not playing video games. Did not want to play video games. Guys, if you're having a good time Q&A tonight, and again, I apologize that- You don't know anything. You don't know anything. I mean, you still haven't answered what's the best dish soap. You you never answered what's the best position on, on a baseball field. You still didn't tell me what does a basketball player do on the front line when doing a foul ball. Like, you don't know anything. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Because I, I've been caught in the rain for out for about an hour, so I'm ready to tear this motherfucker apart. That Outer Wilds was a flop. Please like the stream. We're around fifty. No, 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 sack of shit. You didn't want to play Outer Wilds. No, 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 outer, no sack of shit. 
You're the one that was hyping up this game past night and literally did not give them what they want. You idiot. Five likes and climbing, but we have way over 200 viewers. We actually have more viewers than I usually have on a late stream. Yeah, because you're being you're being stupid. Of course, if you can support the stream in any way, I would appreciate it. Uh, tips would be preferred. Right now, we have 12, excuse me, 13. You're being stupid. Out of this week, probably like the, this, the fifth stream where I'm not even hitting the tier one tips goal, which is terrible. It's not a good pattern. It's not a good precedent. Um, it would be great to get some more support tonight. So thank you in advance to anyone who supports in any way. And he didn't even, it, it just, it's like, dude, I, I'm, I'm going to say it. There's a reason why I don't let people pick my games like he does. And he does zero research on it. It's like, do you want to play it, Phil? And it's like, okay, it's one thing to go like, okay, Elden Ring. But it's like, do you want to play whatever fucking game you want to play? No, then why are you fucking doing all this? It's like, it's interaction. And it's like, no, no dipshit. No. And I'm so tired of his Q&As. They're terrible. They're fucking terrible. Why would I have a thought on Final Fantasy XIV's expansion when I've never played Final Fantasy XIV? Like, dude, do you guys remember? You probably will not remember this. The Afro Samurai game. And you open it up and there's an advertisement and a coupon for Church's Fried Chicken on the inside. Just think about this. Have you ever bought a video game, opened it, and had an advertisement for any kind of fast food on the inside, let alone a coupon? And what were the chances they decided to do a tie-in with fried chicken inside of a game called Afro Samurai? I, the balls on those motherfuckers. The balls. That would never happen today. Today, if they did that shit, people would be like, that's the most racist thing we've ever seen. But this was a, over a decade ago. <laughs> that was remarkable. Idiot. <clears throat> Those are just some of the ones that come to mind off the top of my head. So. All right, guys, we're going to adjourn in a minute. Adjourn. Yeah, you use the adjourn, right? Because these people are held against their will, it seems like. We're going to adjourn in a minute. I give you. You know what pisses me off? All right, so you had a very bad start to Elder Wilds, and people still showed up to this trash fire. It's like, I know, I know, it's a trash fire, but they still showed up to this trash fire. Guys, a last opportunity. Um, This was a trash fire. A fucking four-alarm trash fire. Like, this wasn't like, this was like a, 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 it was a dumpster fire. Fuck, it was four dumpster fires. It was, how many fires can you have? It was a tire fire with a dumpster, dumpster disaster. It was a, it was everything. Yeah, you don't know what Afro Samurai is. Like, that was, that was just, uh, I don't know. It's like, dude, if you didn't want to fucking do it and actually play Game Pass games, then fucking don't. Maybe don't play games on a schedule. Maybe get a real job. Maybe figure out what real hours are because you have zero idea of what you do. Because I'm so tired of this shit that you showed up to play Outer Wilds. You didn't want to play. You didn't want to eat fucking marshmallows. You didn't want to get the game at all. You're like, there's no time. I guess we'll, we'll do Q&A for 90 minutes. It's like, dude, you could have played another game, you idiot. But here, here you are being an absolute weirdo about this. I mean, I bet I could do a better Game Pass night than you could do and go longer and get everything done. Yeah, I just, I, I had to, man. I had break out the McDonald's for this sadness. My last opportunity to react at all. If you have any questions, anything else you want to you wanna end here. Sucks that the game didn't work out, Otter Wilds. Also sucks that, again, this is like the... No, that's you, idiot. ...support, and I don't know what to do about that. You donkey. I'm trying to give you guys variety. I'm trying to, to mix things up. I played the game that won the poll, and obviously it wasn't a good game for streaming. You guys didn't like it, you know? I don't know what else to say about that. Uh, besides, I'm just going to keep trying, you know? 
when I when I come back on Wednesday, we're gonna have a different poll set up for a different game pass thing, and hopefully it works out better this time. <clears throat> Such a moron. I hate you, Phil. Protusum Zone says, I should set a date for this video, have beers and order out, and make it a fun event. Yeah. Yeah. You mean the, the you mean the wings video? The down the rabbit hole video. Like actually like Why are you watching another man's video? Why are you watching another man's video? Why? Why are you watching another man's video? I, 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 like, you know, if you do it, we have to do it. And fuck, maybe we'll bring, we'll bring all the Wingos. I, I don't get it. Why the fuck are you watching someone else's video? You're an asshole. I, I, I don't get it. Why can't you do, why? Why the fuck can't you do the this is how you don't play Metal Gear Solid 2. You would hit the goal, but you're a bitch. You're a fucking bitch. Fucking fuck. You can, like plan it out, have a special day for it. Order some food, arrive, have some drinks and food while we're watching it together, and I'm I'm reacting to it. Idiot. Yeah, I don't know. If, see, here's the thing. If I did that, would anyone care? And I mean this, like, would the attendance be yes. high? Possibly yes. Would the drama be high? I'm sure idiots would yes. get drama out of it. But would it be hey, so productive for my business? Hey, fuckhead, you're the one that said it. You're the one that did the... Wings are a damn chin. You said it. You're the one that came out of your little goddamn little mouth to say that you're going to do Wings of Redemption, you moron. Business? Keep in mind, this is not just me dicking around on the internet. This is a business I'm operating here. That's why when... A very bad, sad, slow-ass, bangalow-ass business that you're running here that's only $26 and a scam and a charlatan. Go fuck yourself. This is low. Yeah, because you suck. It's almost non-existent, and it's a slow night. You it suck. It literally, a night like tonight hurts me bad. Because I'm like, damn, here's a night when I was here two hours like I usually am working... And it's a slow night. Like, what happened, right? And I wish that I could change. I can't change that. You know what I mean? I don't know what to do. Good. Obviously, we had a good time here interacting. We had a good conversation or whatever, right? But No, Phil. I don't know. See, ProTuzum Zone says, well, the more people watching, the more donations you'll get. I don't believe that at all. That's not a correct assessment what? whatsoever in my experience, especially these days. These days, I could have low attendance and still get tons of support. And then I could have a stream with a bajillion people watching and no support. I've had both. You know, yeah. in this case, you're bringing in people for drama. You have people here for drama. Oh, I don't Phil, life is drama. I said this before, and I'll say it again. Well, it just sounds so dumb. Now I was at work getting shit done. Like, you're boring, Phil. You're not anything anymore. Just the people here in the whales and all these people, you suck. You're lucky that people show up to your to your streams for your boring ass to be stupid. Yeah, he prefers a stream with 10 viewers and three where easier to control. He prefers money, period. If he had let's say he had 10 let's say he had 10 viewers and 10 10 whales and all 10 of those whales gave him 100 bucks, he would be happy with that. Cause he gets to he gets to live he gets to live another day. That's just that's just reality for Mister Darkside Phil. DSP does not want to don't want to do a stream for a he does not want to do a stream for an audience. He wants to do a stream for him, and that's the thing. Like this stream when he sits here and he goes like I'll do a Q and A a Q and A for what? A Q and A for what, Phil? So you can uh you can sit here and, and think about what what you're going to tell these people and how they're going to tell them like a Q and A for what and and that that's that's the thing that I always have to preference all this when he does this shit what every time you do something it just seems like you're just sputtering out.
sputtering out. The podcast is the bust. Everything you do is just not, it's not working out. It's not working out. And you can sit here and you can say, oh, I have to do this and this for the business. It's like, what is your business? You don't have a business. You're just a sad, strange little shalooni. Yeah, punch up the sniper. Yeah, he just wants to pay out with no work, and you've been paying out with no work for a while, dude. And after a while of just absolute ego and not learning anything, you're on the way out. And it's just one of those things, Phil. Just get used to it that you're lucky enough you get 300 people to show up for your boring ass. I don't care, I don't, you don't care about quality content. I just want drama. That do, those aren't necessarily people who are going to support you. You know what I'm Life's drama, bitch. Life is drama. You don't have anything in your life, so you make up drama. Life is drama. There's lots of things with drama in it. And that's what makes you you. Because you say you don't want drama, but yet you are all the drama. You're all the drama for your mama. And you want to sit here and say, oh, I don't care about that. Oh, I don't care about this. I don't care about that. But yet, but yet you do. But yet you do. And you want to talk about how much you love drama and how much it's so good and all that shit. But you're so, you're done. You're done. I don't know why why he's like, I want no drama. So you want life to be as boring as possible. No drama, no anything. You know, the best movie's about drama. And you want to sit here and talk about how much you don't give a fuck about anything else in this world and how terrible you look. Because you look terrible. I mean, look at this photo we just took of you. This is, uh, this is you. Great job, idiot. You look. Terrible. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me. Uh, there you go. There you go. This is Dark Side Phil, guys. This is the this is the ego driven greatest man ever. Let's player. Yes, this was real. Look at him, guys. This is the man that wants everyone to to bow down to. This is the man that wants everyone to go, I am great. That. What the fuck? I didn't take this photo, but damn. This is not edited. This came from Detractor Pigeon. He looks like King Rule, but 30 times worse. He looks drunk and his, and his face about to melt off. I'm saying. A lot of those people are just there for drama reason, drama sake. And I don't think, I really don't know how that's going to really help. Your, your, your face. I mean, we could give it a shot. Your face says otherwise, Igor. I don't really necessarily think this is going to be something special. I Again, to me, it's just like, eh, I'll do it. Oh, it's already there. A uh, plot twist is already there. A uh, plot twist, uh, Hood Hustler, is already there. If you guys really want it, I don't see the big deal. But you guys seem to think it's some kind of a big deal. I don't think so. Anyway. All right, guys. We're out of time. I went extra here tonight. We're out of time. Got to get out of here. Get ready for my day off tomorrow. I will say this. Thanks to those who stuck around and chilled with me for the Q&A. Sucks that it went badly with the game. Uh, hopefully, when we re regroup with another Game Pass game this coming Thursday night, it'll be better. Uh, I think I may take people's advice. And we may do is a members only poll for that one starting Wednesday morning on the pre-stream podcast. I'll probably set it up and I'll have the members only be voting 
on what's the next Game Pass game that we should do Thursday night and pick a good one. And hopefully it'll be more entertaining for you guys. Okay? Plays games and goes, we're out of time. All right, guys. Well, thank you uh, to those who did support, I should say. Support was not great tonight, obviously. But at least to those who did support, thank you to those who did. I appreciate that. I hope you all have a good evening. I hope you enjoyed the Q&A. Over an hour of it. Wow, almost an hour and a half of it, right? And uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. All right. Yeah, all these people showed up to what? Right? Wow. It's one of the worst things ever. That was, that was a terrible stream. That was... Oh no, it's definitely he's he's full of gin and sadness. That is just not great. He is falling apart. Homie is falling apart. Homie is falling the fuck apart. It's great. I mean it's not I mean it's one of those things you look at and you go like all you people out there and I'm talking about the DSP diehards, it's like, dude. Do you, do you even like any of this? I mean, he literally, the, the, the man that you say that used to be, he's one of the boys, he's one of the real ones, he's one of this and that, he's not like the, he's not like IGN or GameSpot. Does this man look like someone that, that literally loves everything he does? If you are a channel member, you are in luck. You are going to get a good benefit from being a member of DSP Gaming, right? No. Because, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a channel member, you can head over to the main channel page of DSP Gaming. You can head over to the community tab. You can scroll down, and there is a members-only post there. And if you respond to that post with questions, you are going to get priority access to have those questions answered live on the show. In fact... When I last did this show, Christmas week, the majority of questions I answered on the show were actually from the members. So, if you're not a member right now... I will say this, if we do Ask the King, uh, we're not doing it. We're not doing Ask the King. Well, Mike, you know, if Aqua 2 or Hate Army Watch puts a video up, that's one thing, but... I don't want to hear about DSP's dish soap again. Fucking hate it. I strongly urge you to become one. You're going to get a direct benefit right now. Chances are your question will be answered if you ask it in the members only post, but you got to be a member to see it. So what are you waiting for? Is cat like de-aging you? Why do you look terrible? What the fuck is going on in DSP world that he looks, he looks terrible. He looks not even 40. He looks like a zombie. What is your problem? <laughs> Come on. Whatever you're doing right now. Are you buttering your toast? Put the put the knife down. Put the toast down. Are you grooming your pet with a brush? Why would anyone groom their pet by watching you? Why? Well, take the giant tuft of hair. Put it to the side. Put down the brush. Push the, the pet off your lap, okay? Are you taking a shit? Well, hurry the fuck up and squish that turd out of your ass and jump over to your mobile device or your computer and become a member of DSP Gaming right now. Get going. What do you get for being a member? A million things. You get a chat crown badge to show how long you've been a support. He's not going to remember all of that stuff. A chat crown badge. We get, you get little cat ears if you join ours. You get a highlighted name both in stream chat and in the video comments. If he approves your video comments. You get to use my emotes in stream chat and in video comments. If he approves them and you don't get banned from them. You, uh, you, uh, someone comes to your house, Fia comes to your house and hugs you. Who? She gives you the death curse, but she hugs you. What? Okay, that part doesn't happen. But you get many benefits for being a member. And it helps the channel. And in addition to that, if... You become a member, and we hit the goal for the month of 400. 
special event. Do you like to hear what you get if you become a member here? I'm only going to say it once. Uh, exclusive videos, same thing you said, uh, and a podcast. Isn't that great? And, well, I was going to say access to the Discord, but I guess you can get that too. It happens where I'm going to be watching a video about me called Down the Rabbit Hole Dark Side Phil that came out five years ago. It covers my history as a content creator from my early years all the way up to 2017, and it covers both the good and bad. There is no good idiot. It's all bad. Most of the stuff in there is very factual, and it's not very awesome to go back and relive some of your mistakes over time. There's a lot of mistakes that you've done. But it actually makes sense because you can learn from your mistakes, as I feel that You never learn from a single mistake that you've done. I have in the past five years. And people have asked me to watch this video in particular for a very long time because it has over six million... Those people are gone now. ...views on YouTube, and it's a way that many people at first were introduced to me, and now they know me by this video, so it makes sense if I watch the video and I react to it. Why so late? Phil, Phil's that dude that comes to a party six months late and go, all right, I'm here for the Easter party. Easter party? It's Christmas, you idiot. Easter party? It's, it's, it's Thanksgiving. Can I add stuff to it like commentary? It would be really cool. Idiot. We're going to do that. We got to hit the member's goal. Okay? And if we hit the member's goal for the month, this could open a whole other avenue of content. Because people have already said, well, all right. Yes, wreck Cammy. But if that's successful, would you do more? Well, there's other videos like that. There's one, a whole giant one on Wings of Redemption, right? There's other videos that have been made about me. There's things that we could do that we could consider. But we got to do this first. And if we don't do this, you know what that tells me? People aren't interested. People are not interested, Phil. That it's all bullshit. That over the years... That people have asked me for this all they wanted was a little bit of drama and they don't actually care about it because if they did this would have already happened seriously why do you want to why do you want to promote drama why the fuck do you want to promote drama you gutter trash we've got less than two weeks left and you're telling me that 30 people can't become a member to see me do something you've asked me to do for five years yeah we asked you to do a lot of things in a timely manner and you don't you say, hi, I want to, you asked me to do this in five years and now I'm doing it. That's the problem. Everyone moved on in five years, Phil. Here's bullshit. No. That's where that came from. So let's make it happen. Okay. So anyway, yeah, becoming a member would help you right now because on Ask the King, you'll get your question, high chance to be answered. I'm not guaranteeing it because there's always a chance that a member would ask something silly or stupid or something that I've answered a million times. I'm not going to reiterate the same answer again. But in general, in general, most people are going to get their questions answered, so please consider it, okay? All right. Money, money. No, no one's going to consider it because you're a moron. Moron. All the things I want to know is, like, it's just not there. Definitely something's wrong. It's been something wrong for a while. Well, I beat the crap out of Moog uh, using my strategy. And it worked. So thank you for that. We're going to do a little bit of NPC questing now. As you see, we're in the Jar Town. We're going to explore that. We're probably going to look for Gold Mask and find him. Then probably we'll do some combat. But I want to do a little bit of NPC stuff because there's no real good time to do it. And we did miss out on several things. For example, there's the Gold Mask plotline as well as the rest of the Dung Eater plotline that we need to do at some point before the end of the game as well. Okay? Why? Tell the noble Gold Mask whereabouts. Could be found Gold Mask on a bridge earlier. Dude. <clears throat> Do you speak with me? 
Uh, From your description, <coughs> it can be no other than the gold mask himself. Of course, of course, I knew he would be close by. Bless the Golden Order and its benevolent rays. And to you too, my sincerest thanks. Okay. May the Golden Order shine through you. So this guy's all about the Golden Order, which is yet another one of the major plot lines of the game. There's so far we have the flame, the f No one cares, Phil. No one gives a fuck. Wow, he looks terrible. Frenzied flame, which is what I have. I've been inf infected by the flaming three fingers. <laughs> Pretending to low lore. Now, Hate Army Watch does know lore. So if anyone, if, if I have to trust to say Hate Army Watch. Because, um... No, you don't give a fuck. Das Boshi, I will do the Halloween eventually. Don't worry. We're doing it eventually. Oh, eventually. Now this is done. Checking wiki eventually, again. Something happens inside of the city. Okay. You're checking a wiki. It's obvious. Why are you looking down if you didn't know what it was? Apparently now we need to go over here. Wasp. What's going on? He's like posing. He's doing a weird pose. Oh, was that you? Sorry, <laughs> I hardly noticed. Oh, this is terrible. He's deceased his movements. Okay, well, about gold mask. What's he up to? The master's reflection is it? Fucking weirdo. Just push him in. Say, fuck off. Get your... <laughs> Go take the plunge. All right, so next. If you can believe it, okay, in order to actually advance this quest line, this is going to sound really weird because it fucking is. You have to have 37 intelligence. Because you have to do an incantation in front of a statue. To yeah. Advance the plot line. Yeah. Yeah, but he read it. He read the wiki all through this game. I didn't know any of this shit, and I still didn't know you could do any of this shit. So I have to fucking I have to respect to do this. Which is really dumb, and while we respect, we might as well fuck around with some spells and shit just to be stupid. Right? Why not? So, we actually have to go respec. As stupid as this sounds. Alright. The statue changed forms. It looks different now. I don't know exactly how, but it's definitely looking different. Right? So now what? Okay. Touch a new message that appears. There was a new message. Times. About the noble gold man. Exactly was Radigan. The master his finger has remained still. But the earth tree. Why must we were on This is terrible. It's not working. It doesn't work. Indeed, boo this man. It says, touch the new message and report the secret to boo Gold Mask. Man. Oh, Four hundred people show up to this and like this. Fool this man! People show up to this. Like, show up to this. I don't mean like tee hee ha. Like actual show up to this. He expects people that to pay him 150 for this. He expects people to pay him this? To eat bougie DoorDash and all that shit? Oh. She doesn't trust him. That's it. Okay, so now for what I'm to understand, we've finished this gold mask plot point, okay? The only time it's going to come up again is end game once the end we're in the end game they'll eventually be back at the capital all right but what? 
we're pat like we're basically past that now you know what i mean um yeah so we're not past that we're not there yet when we get to that okay then we can look we could do it but for now we're done now okay with gold mask this will come up later at the wow this this fucking elden ring stream looks boring as shit end of the game okay all right upon reloading the game they will move on to a bridge you're fucking reading from a guide there and why is he like oh my god why are you squinting over it's obvious you're reading from somewhere in the northeastern part of the game way the fuck over here apparently over here way the fuck over here oh no he didn't get to that other part of the map yet interesting apparently here on this bridge i didn't say that you can't use it look i mean it's not like i haven't looked up a few things but i looked up a few things i didn't look up everything that's the difference yep miguel i always said i would use a guide for npc quest lines that i can't figure out and we're at the end of the game now it's no, 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 you used MP3, you used quest, uh, you used guides for everything, idiot. It's time to do the leftover quest lines or else I'm going to never do them. I want. I mean, who cares? You just want to stall the game out for more money. I want to do them, so this is all lore of the game we would have missed if I didn't know it existed. All right, yep, Miguel, enjoy your permanent ban from the chat for being a fucking douche nozzle, you fucking idiot. God, I would love to call you a douche nozzle in front of you. Wow, dude, I'm a big fan, but there's so many clips of you crapping on people using guides, and right there, bums me out. I don't know. Uh, Denthead, actual Denthead. Boo this man! Wow. Wow, King, you said... Idiot. Yeah, well, that's the way you're supposed to do it. And he's over here going like, oh, my God, guys. I, I said I was like, no, dude. It, it, it's not. You can't have water half full. I said for NPC stuff, you used it all the way through the game. Use a guide. If you didn't, you would get really confused and not know where the fuck you were going and use the chat room to fucking carry you like a like a little like the little dog that you are. You totally did that. Okay, let's see what this weapon is. Idiot. And then he lies to people about it. And then he does this. As you guys can see, again, I don't know why, but it seems to be a slower day for contributions. Okay, now we still have... <laughs> so after all that boringness, after all that boringness and talking to the NPC... He still demands his money. As you guys can see, again, I don't know why, but it seems to be a slower day for contributions. Okay. Nope, he is off today, so. Nope. <laughs> but that's that's one thing. I'm not gonna fault someone. Here's the thing. Looking up a guide and one thing. But he's looking up a guide and knowing the best weapons and what to do and how to do it. 
Like, he's been handheld through this whole game ever since. Okay, now we still have a long way to go. We're not even nearly to the end of the stream. We've got two more hours of gameplay. Please, guys, if you like Elden Ring, if you enjoy the stuff that I've been doing in it, taking on Moog like I did, please support the stream. In particular, like I said, this week we had two really slow streaming days. Um, you suck about it. You had two slow streaming days because you're boring and you're, you suck. Yesterday was one of them. It was pretty bad. And I need to ho hopefully make up for it to help out for my day off tomorrow. So please, if you can, please support the stream. And tips are would preferred today since tomorrow's my day off. It would help me with everything. Yeah, there's nothing. I mean, that game, it, but it's by design. And he's like, oh, I, I'm playing this game blind. I'm like, no, you're really not. You have a whole chat room. You have a whole guide. You're looking it up. And you're looking up all the strategies of it. It's just, it's just not fun when you do that. Everything I got to do tomorrow, okay? So again, please consider contributing if you have not. What I am going to do is I'm going to do a brief tweet to let everyone know that we're back for two more hours of Elden Ring. And then we're going to jump in. The tweeting is happening. No, Elden Kirby's more guided. Elden Ring is the least guided game you could ever have. I mean, there's this thing in games now. Uh, Horizon does it. Lego Star Wars does it, which I don't mind. I really don't. It's basically the whole thing is guided and tells you exactly where to go. Well, they're bored, man. I mean, look how much is out there. You had Meerkat with an eight-hour stream. You got us over here, you know, playing Fortnite and getting shit done. And it's just one of those things you look at and you go like, why the fuck do I need you? But that's by design, System 23. You know that. They wanted quest lines to be easy. They wouldn't let people. You know about the notebook that people had to write quest lines on? The fucking notes in the books that you had to keep up with stuff? Yeah, their games were. Yeah, it was linear in there. You know, you could remember it. But it's by design. This is this is wasted time right here. Listen to this typing, Jesus. The only thing this man knows how to do is type. The only thing. Okay. Basic now, bullshit. I just gotta get the link for the stream. How come he doesn't tweet from a phone like every normal human? Oh, my nose itches. I just want to point out one thing that there's been Mexican music been played since one in the morning. And the people that leave notes on my door saying like, we're going to call the police. Why don't you call the police on them? Oh, you're not. Okay, go fuck yourself. Enjoy not sleeping ever again. I'm also going to post it up on the community tab of the channel. So anyone who's here... He sure did. That motherfucker sure did. He sure did post it in the in the community tab. He sure did. Motherfucker posted it in the community tab. I am back with two more hours of Elden Ring on stream. We'd be a tough boss and are on to some NPC questing. Boring as shit. Then back into the end game stuff. Please support the stream if you can. I have several slow days. He's going to just wreck the end boss, isn't he? Oh, 
on the channel, chilling, will see it as well. Almost ready. You can't see what the fuck. Black. The darkness of night. I can't post. Why can't I post? On the community tab. Hold on. I think it's glitched. You're glitched. Gotta refresh it. Yes. Now it works. Okay. <clears throat> All right, everyone. Thank you, Guts. What's a community tab? You go to anyone's main channel page on YouTube. And on their main channel page, there's a bunch of tabs at the top of the page. And the community tab is the one where posts can be put up for informational purposes, polls, all kinds of stuff. And I use it on a daily basis for a lot of information to my viewers. So... Okay. Nope. Because moron. All right. Lots of little short little things from... Okay, everyone. So, a couple quick things as we're about to get started. First of all, welcome to all the Elden Ringers. I see we have an inflated amount of... I fucking hate when he says Elden Ringers. And then lose them all. People here to see me take on the boss again today. I'm not shocked. This boss is very difficult. People are, are saying, arguably, it's a lot of people's favorite boss in the game and or one of the toughest, not the toughest, but one of the toughest bosses of the game. So I'm very excited to have all of you Elden Ringers. You're, you're overleveled. Ringers here to watch the game. <laughs> Elden Ringers. Uh, That's not funny. You s just stop saying Elden Ringers. I hate it. Uh, so, welcome. All right, a few quick things. If you like this playthrough, please give it a like here on YouTube right now. Like the stream. We already have se over 70 people who did that. That's awesome. Let's keep that going. Uh, the more people who like the stream, the better it'll get exposure on YouTube. More people can check it out, which will help. Why would anyone want to fucking watch this? Um, please consider supporting the stream today in any way that you can. In particular, tomorrow's my day off. Tips would be great. Cause wow, he said that right in the mic. Tips would be great. T-pose. Tips, I, stuff I could use during my day off tomorrow would be uh, absolutely outstanding. And People hate the community tab because it's just easy question or updates. This is the extension of his Twitter. It's always that. I mean, it's just one of those things you look at and you go like, what the fuck are you doing, Phil? to be completely transparent with you guys yes the last few days except for two days ago which was really great the last day i played elden ring incidentally uh a lot of the other playthroughs i'm doing right now are not getting a lot of support lego because you play games like a bitch and they're boring every every stream is literally you being confused not saying anything going all clown mode go skyrim they're pretty slow so it would certainly be great if we could have a really strong day today oh you would my streaming week with Elden Ring support, okay? No, no, he, he has a wife, but who fucking knows at this point? Maybe his wife is ignoring him, so he bangs Tyrone. Who fucking knows? Okay. Great. Let's get into it. Who knows? Because at this rate, he just keeps... The money's drying up, the money's drying up, the money's drying up, which... Who knows why? To him, he's gonna he's gonna call a hail mary. He's gonna call a hail mary soon, and he's gonna wonder why the money's drying up. And it is, it's drying up. Eddie did a super jazz says, "Why not react to your bankruptcy recording phone call? It's factual from the court hearing. I'm sure if you did a poll of fans, I never want to hear that fucking phone call from the court hearing. That was the dumbest thing ever, especially when when that guy had one shot and failed. I'll say it. Fuck that call. 
I know a lot of people are like, ooh, I love that call. No, fuck that call. I'll be the only one on that hill to die there. Fuck that call. I, you know, it's one of those things like, oh, let me have your light out. And it's like, meh, 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 meh. it might be a troll. Fuck that call. Stop fantasizing about this stupid bankruptcy call and whatever her is. Yeah, like, it's just stop it. Get some help. Like, everyone's like, ooh, go over the call and what you felt when the troll called in. And, and WWE Network and all that shit and, and all the wrong shit that was in it. WWE Network. Champions! How do you fuck this up? You had one shot, and not only did you say network, you couldn't say WWE champions. Fuck off. And we were like, ooh, fantasize about your bankruptcy. An L. An, you got it? And everyone's like, oh, my God, I'm going to stop watching DSP for a while. It's a fucking L. L. Capital L. Not a W, an L. And then what we learned after that, it's even more of an L. Yeah, how pathetic is it that you got your... Because coronavirus happened, he didn't even show up to his first hearing. Remember, he didn't even show up to the fucking courthouse when they were asked about it. This motherfucker didn't even didn't even show up to his actual hearing before coronavirus broke out. He had to do it over the phone. He didn't even show up to his actual meeting. He was too drunk to show the fuck up first. Let's not forget about that. And also, here's a little tidbit that no one else ever fucking said. People that get bankruptcies like that normally get approved by 90%. 90%. When, you know, when, uh, Rikeda and every that stuff said he's gonna get it. He got it, and then everyone lost their goddamn mind, going like, "Oh my god, bankruptcy!" He's still a loser. Like everyone thought this was like, like he won the fucking lottery. Like they're gonna hang over it, and then they're like, "Oh my god, Nancy failed us all." Nancy don't give a fuck about him. He was just trying to do her job, going like, "All right, I'm gonna give this motherfucker a second chance. Maybe we'll do something with it." We all know he's a dipshit, and where we are now, he's a dipshit. Two years later, he's still spending money like there's no tomorrow about on WWE Champions. Spending money like he never had before, begging even harder and all that shit. Indeed, I'm just saying, uh, you know, it's an L. It's a fucking L. Yeah, I'm back from the grave. I was buried six feet under. Well, the Undertaker retired. Poor Cavaniacs. <laughs> All right. Hello, everyone. Rather have that. Um, what is there to react to? We all know what happened. Right? Anyone who's interested in that would already have access to it and know exactly what happened. Right? There's nothing to even react to. I was asked general questions in a public hearing about my bankruptcy. I answered all the questions if you know as well as I could. They were they were Some dumb at they were dumb questions. Then and pretend to be a creditor of mine, which is against the law. It's complete an utter crime. Alright? Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Um Never been seen before, basically. And let me just say it this way. It was a circus presented by you, circus clown. After that call went down, I had several different conversations with people in, involved in the bankruptcy process who said they've never seen anything like that happen ever. That 
call never happened. Uh, that call never happened. Why the fuck would they do that? Before. In anything. Didn't, did not happen. Did not happen. <laughs> did not happen. You know, years and years they've been involved. It's their job to be involved in it. They've never seen anything like that. They hung up the phone and that's it. You made this shit up. Yeah. Ever. Um... Someone call in and impersonate a creditor. They're like, they're not. It's an insanity that that would even happen. That any, someone would actually, you know, risk going to jail over it. Yeah, it wasn't a public hearing. It was it was a bootleg phone call. It was a very bootleg phone call, and it was a public hearing that anyone could go to if it was in uh, actual court. You know, you didn't show up in actual public court. You showed up on a phone call in your lawyer's office like a bitch. The difference was this was COVID. If it weren't COVID, that would have been an in-person hearing. And if someone actually showed up and said they were a creditor and weren't, they would have immediately been arrested because there's a bailiff there. What were they called? Uh, not a bailiff. Who's the name of the guy? They never they never done it over the phone, so they wouldn't fucking know. The guy who's in charge of the courtroom, the, the cop there, it would go right to jail. It's impersonation. It's, it's, it's a misrepresentation. Isn't it sad that you haven't moved on from your bankruptcy and got better at this? That you're still... The call itself should have been routine, nothing, but it's still speech and lore because you're an asshole. There's a million laws broken there. See, that's why the only reason they got away with it is because it was anonymous on the internet. But there were, again, much like many things, there. This world is not ready for an all digital presence. You know, this world's not ready for an all digital presence. You are an all digital presence. What I'm saying, like, there's so many processes. I tell you this all the time with banks. There's things with banks that just aren't ready for anything digital. They have these weird hours. They're closed. Half Phil, you get all your money digitally. There is no fucking paper money being transferred to your account at all. It's all digital money. Half the, the fucking time, they have these weird bank holidays and shit. But the rest of the world operates. But they're not ready for the modern world. The banks own the place, Phil. Do you ever understand that? Yeah, you never under you never heard the old the old saying the banks own the place? They own it. They can do what they want. Like, I don't understand. Like, if they want to take Monday off, they can take Monday off, Phil. The bank own the banks own Washington. They can do what they want. JP Morgan Chase, Jamie Dimon, all of them. They own the place. They can do what they want. Right? Very much courts were not ready for COVID. They weren't ready for the whole world to shut down because. Well, no one was ready for COVID. No one. No one. And The Rock means no one. They probably gave you a little bit because it was COVID time. Shit's getting real. And they gave you a little reprieve. God, still an L. Get some help. Because of COVID. So they were just trying to flub it and make stuff work. And that dial-in thing was very rare. Incre incredibly very, very rare. Okay? <clears throat> very rare that anything would, would be on a phone call like that or anything. And they fucked it all up. Congratulations, you can go fuck yourself. Unless there was a really good extenuating circumstance reason. And so they just weren't ready for that. I, I mean, I warned my bankruptcy attorney of it. I said, I guarantee you there's going to be some fucking bullshit shenanigans. You know, I guarantee it. <laughs> Here comes the police to arrest your candy ass. Yes, breaking news. Phil is a moron. An absolutely egotistical moron. COVID saved DSP. I don't know about that. He'd probably limp along, but he definitely got more money on it. I'm just going to say it for me. I'm tired of hearing about the bankruptcy. I understand people fantasize it and want to fucking smother Nancy in a fucking burrito and, you know, and choke slam her off the 45th building or some shit. It's just like, it's fucking over. It's over, man. It's just, 
it's one of those things it's like i don't want to fantasize about something that happened i just want to kick his ass now like i'm you know and everyone's like oh the bankruptcy they should do it over again it's over you know you had your shot you didn't do very well i'm so tired of this shit of people like they should reveal the bankruptcy and all this shit you you could have dotted the i's and crossed the t's but no no of course not we could have done better and didn't maybe let's buy fucking design i don't fucking know and then all of a sudden everyone gets their fucking panties in a wad going like oh my god guys he got a bankruptcy he's got a discharge And I'm over here going like, am I the only one? And, and now I get to say it. I get to say it. Fuck that shit. Fuck the, the bankruptcy. You know, I know that Tevin said it's an L. Yeah, they're both lame. And everyone's like, they're like, oh, this is the time when Phil is getting it nailed. And I'm like, no, no, it's not. No, no, it's not. Only, only the, oh, this is the one. No. He's already fading in the fucking ether. He's not anything. That bankruptcy is an albatross against his neck. And just like GTG says, he's a gambler. He's a boozer. It was only a, it was only temporary relief for what he wanted to spend WWE Championship money on. If he was smart enough, he would have saved that vest money, paid down his debts, paid down whatever he needed, and keep going. And now everything has catched up to him. This is now. This is now. You know. Yeah, but loses credit. And he's not going to get any credit because he spends money like a drunken sailor. Who the fuck's going to give him give him credit cards? That is a big L because now, look at him now. He has a big hardcore. He can't bet against the house. If she has a credit card. <laughs> but I'm just saying, this is not working out. He's not making the money to make this work. And then and then when it didn't work, he used all that money to buy shitty games on a credit card. Dine says, if I hit the members goal this month, will I react to detractor songs? Some are catchy. See, here's the thing. <clears throat> Again. I explained this a few days ago. I'll, I'll reiterate. I have no problem reacting and or addressing these kind of videos about my history as a content creator or as a person that's based on fact. All right? You want to talk about my history and reference things that really happened? Sure. Let's talk about it. Let's go down memory lane. I'll wholeheartedly, I'll address reality that happened because I'm not afraid of my past. If I were, would I have uploaded it all to the internet? Or she, he doesn't tell her about the fucking it problem. Happen. It's all well documented, right? And I, we can say, okay, here's what Phil did in the past. The here's Burger the King thing. almost broke me. I took a year off from Phil afterwards. The Burger King? Oh, the bankruptcy. Yeah, I get it. But it was just one of those things. It's like the, the bankruptcy was like, yeah, fuck it. Like, it was one of those people hyped themselves up and were like, this is it, guys, this is it. And I'm like, no, no, it's not. Yeah, he doesn't earn a stable income. Like, he makes a lot of money, but he's a high risk. Uh... Sure. Person he was, and I can address that, and I can add to it. I think there's some merit and meaning and, and worth to doing something like that, right? You you, you learn from your yeah, but you're a bitch, person, right? But when you say detractor content, the vast amount of the content that's made today is not that. But I can say that in hindsight, being 2020 now, you know, based on co conspiracy, speculation, rumor. I'll just, I'm just going to say this, you know, I'm just going to say this about the bankruptcy and all that stuff. I, I, I honestly think people wanted him to, I get,
pay your debts. You know, a lot of us, you know, we wouldn't bring out 14 credit cards and all that stuff. But a lot of people that go into bankruptcy, you know, they, uh, it's a second chance at this. So probably Nancy will like, whatever, you know, we exalt all your debts and all that stuff, except for the house and the condo and all that stuff. But he's, it's slowly going, it's slowly catching up to him. Like all this is catching up to him, the money, the, the everything, the spending, like if anything, we learn anything about it is he learned nothing from the bankruptcy. He learned nothing of how to, you know, uh, of any of that shit. It, it, it actually, after that, it got worse. WWE championships and WWE champions, uh, spending got worse. Everything got worse. Everything got worse. And. Yeah, it's a massive L and, and he can't, and he only did this to himself. He didn't learn like, Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to invest back into the business. I'm going to build back better. No, no. He did the same exact mistakes that got him there. The same exact ones. And the vest streak made that worse because he had all that money to spend on WWE champions. Remember, after after the bankruptcy, didn't he spend seven thousand dollars on Gotcha? Like literal seven thousand dollars that you could have bought so many upgrades and so much kick ass shit for this stream. No, not at all. And didn't and spent it on WWE champions. That was last year. Around this time was his birthday. Three thousand dollars on on gotcha. Well Oh yeah, that was that was whatever. WWE Network Champions and all that stuff. Routine call. Hearsay, and in a lot of ways, it's people who just repeat something ad nauseum to the point where they actually believe it, even though there's actually no factual backing to it. Okay. Indeed. Say, oh, well, you do a detractor song reaction. Well, if the whole song is shit, that's not true. No. What's the point, right? I mean, you can laugh at a meme once. Once. When that meme is re regurgitated ad nauseum, to the point where now. You can't even be serious about shit because everyone just wants to keep repeating the meme, right? That's fucked up. I mean, take a look. And I, I, I'm going to say this in a way that I hope is respectful. Poor Wings of Redemption over there, <laughs> right? What? When does anyone ever reference Rings of Redemption in my content as something serious? He's always the butt of a joke. He's always the butt of a meme. He's always this guy who's to be ridiculed, derided. Because, because Wings is a bitch and he whines like a bitch and you're a bitch. This is why. Yeah, packing up and leaving anyway, but he isn't. He ain't smart. Yeah, Phil doesn't have a retirement plan. This is it. Phil only lives in the now. This is it. And especially now, especially when you don't know anything. It it's it it is absolutely an indicament that he is done. Well, like I said, eventually it's just it's just not working out, and I'll, I'll yeah, it's just one of those things. It's like okay, you know, what I don't get these people that show up to his room, and they show up looking for looking for just just a little respite of entertainment, and what does dipshit McGee give them? Fucking nothing. He doesn't even give them a good time. He gives them a bad time. All these people show up to DSP Gaming for what? For what? For what, Phil? What the fuck do they get from from you? What the fuck do they get from you? They get they get a game that you didn't want to fucking play anyway. I guess we're gonna lift off. What the? Now, how in the holy hell am I supposed to control what's going on here when I can't? Oh no! 
Wings has 250,000 more subs than, than DSP, but the problem is, here's the problem. Wings has a problem. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you what Wings' problem is. Wings is too scared of everything he does. Everything. Look out! For breakfast, a wife cooked turkey burgers or something oh, like that. Turkey burgers. I'm ignoring dodos. Let's see what we got here. Ishmael, yo, can we get some breakfast? Wondering, King Joy recommend? No, dude, I don't. He's I playing rarely, Dark Souls. I, I, I rarely eat breakfast. Dude, I, don't, I, I rarely eat breakfast. Stop the cow! <laughs> Stop the cow right now! Stop the cow! No bullshit, bro. Rarely eat breakfast. I don't even know who you are, Joshua Morrow. See, like, I look over and people want me to interact with the chat, but everything. Oh, this is in Sekiro. It's like still Dark Souls. Hey, I'm not gonna pick out like w one legitimate comment out of like 15 troll comments. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> I don't want to do a Chris Hansen interview, but if they won't, but if they man, I'm from the fucking old school. You, you know, uh, maybe it's just me, but if someone wanted a piece of you, you give them the whole fucking piece. It's just. All of a sudden, you have all these pussies over here that just keep wanting to go like, uh, uh. it's like, you want tough? Come come at me, bro. And it's just one of those things. I'm Back in the day of stick cam, and like, we're talking old school. Like, there are people on there that would literally try to get your go and just try to hit you as hard as possible. And these people, we're using kid gloves on these people. Kid fucking gloves. But they're good songs. Like, you want me to do a Chris like, interview? I, I I hate the idea that everything has to be like, oh, it has to be, it has to bring me in a positive life and all that shit. You know, what I learned a long time. If someone, if someone thinks about you in a certain way, th there's no, there's very little to changing that. If people think that you're a fucking lazy sack of shit, you're a lazy sack of shit in their eyes. You know, it, it takes a while for people to show that you are who you are. And that's the thing. Like, with Phil, he's like, oh, these people slander me and all that stuff. But guess what? You already lost the battle because you you want people to know who you are to your point of view. People understand their point of view from their point of view, not the, not the other way around. No, not at all. Thoughts on thoughts. Video is not going to make that much ad revenue. For video to make seventy five thousand dollars with the ad revenue, it'd have to, it'd have to clear something like twenty four million views or some shit like that. Never played Path of Exile. Probably never will. Let's see what we got here. Uh, what's the stream schedule looking like today? I don't really have a stream schedule, man. I you never do. Stream. Damn. Somebody's name's Pillhead. Tay, Tay Boogie. What you want me to ask about? Like I said, I looked over, and like it's just a bunch of people trolling. How much do mods get paid? They don't get paid anything, dude. Not a job. They you should. Care. You did flirt. Oh, whatever, dude. Because it's fucking dumb. You. <laughs> it's fucking dumb. It's people trying to fill a narrative. I'm hostile and immature, dude. Like, I don't think you realize how how mature I am for how well I handle all this. I got. You don't handle any of this right well. I'll be right back. No, no, read it. Yeah, I'm not doing that shout out, bud. Not yeah, I wipe. I do what you do a squat and pop. Empty the bowel, wipe the ass, keep going. What food can you put mustard on? Pretty much anything. Like, why do you Why do you ask such dumb ass questions, dude? Like, why can't you just be cool? I don't care. I'm pretty fat. No, I don't weigh 600 pounds, dude. I'm nowhere close to that. Two wings. I missed the lasagna stream. Uh, we haven't done a lasagna stream. Do a YouTube search when you come across me. You see I fit fire like some taco cell sauce B. Sauce B. Soft burger. That means you want to donate to your charity fund. I don't have one of those. Lummox videos are gone. Why is he in Band World Pimp? Uh, Blubber got message deleted. Yeah, why is he in Band World uh, Pimp? I thought the troll trails didn't bother you, Pimp. I'm not the one striking him down, bud. Grant he is not the one striking him down. And they deserve to be striked down because... There's just a lot of people, like, trying to make fame and money off somebody else's mental suffering. But, like... Oh, TSP would... You think he's a bitch now? He wouldn't leave his house. He doesn't leave his house. Those motherfuckers would just... <laughs> Cat, I can't, I can't leave my room. Why? Shit gets real.
Like, I'm not the one doing it. Again, I don't have to lie about this shit. Three wings and the striking HO channels. You have a good string joy. I, I Can we not forget that someone did hack into DSP's bank account? Like, just saying. We're not we're not complete. <laughs> let's just let's just say that. You know, it's not I mean that's a very wings thing to do. But they did get his PSN account and hold it ransom, but Wings is a moron for buying an Xbox to just shelve. I wish I had an actual good stream. Like, I feel like my st this stream is like me playing the video game and everybody else just talking shit about trolls and stuff like that. Yeah, you made it that way because your streams are terrible. In the reverse way, why DSP streams are terrible. That's basically what it is. I don't know where the bog trees stay, the way he treats people. How do I treat people badly? Yeah, so I think um, I mentioned it before, but whenever you meet Wings in person, he'll usually like say two or three th bad things about you or your vehicle. Like, you know, he he'll find some flaws with you or, or whatever, and he'll insult you a few times. This is a regular thing. I don't treat anybody badly. Pete Wings, hey, Jordy, what's nasty, tuna or a runny egg sandwich with a glass of pickle juice and hot dog water? Or you and Kevin? I mean... Here, you know what the difference between a Wings chat and a DSP chat? You go into DSP chat, you get, it's like a hostage situation. You go into Wings chat, you're going to just get ignored. Like, that's the difference. You go into a Wings chat and you say, shout out to Lomex, and then you leave. And you go into a, you go into a DSP chat, and if they know who you are, if you fucking type your name in there, they ban you on the spot. Doesn't matter if you are. If you're good or not, they ban you on the spot. It's like, and then they give you tw they give you the fucking twenty one questions like you're under the light, like you're you're being interrogated. Like, who the fuck are you? Do you support DSP? Do you want money? Do you like him? What do you like about him? Do you hate him? Do you like everything about him? Do you worship him every night? Yeah, but he was really slow about it too. Motherfucker took forever to do that login code. He should have done it offline like a bitch, but he didn't. I did it online, but no one watched me on Twitch, so it didn't matter. Kelly in a hot car. Uh, I'm going to go with Tuna, because Tuna's fucking nasty. Why am I toxic to my fans? I'm not toxic, bud. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to go with the illegal restreams to troll on DSP a bit. You need a better life, homeboy. Momo, I don't care. You need a better I'm life, homeboy. Fat. And you guys think I'm fat. You think it's funny that you, that, that you guys think it's fat. I, I understand. Let me tell you a secret, right? That uh, I've been called fat multiple times in my life. I'm no troll. I speak truth and critically think for myself. Very dangerous. And Why do you think I don't go into DSP's chat room? Because I am not. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Reen. Yeah, they're, they're, he's terrible. Today's internet society. Momo, you spend half your day get <laughs> fucking with internet trolls. Put your fucking fedora back on and go sit in a corner somewhere. Make sure you don't knock your Mountain Dew and piss bottles over. Uh, thoughts on DSP admitting to trying to scam a viewer for donating 25 push-ups DSP and recently that he didn't do them? I mean, like, Dude, you scammed these people off lasagna. Like, if you, like, did he not do them on camera? If he didn't do them on camera, they're not valid. That's my opinion on that. Oh, fuck, I could uh, do 25 push-ups myself. Hey, uh, hey, you know what? Fuck. I, I agree on that one. Uh, I agree on that one. If he didn't live in a modular home, I, I don't know. It's just one. He, he, he's definitely a man that at least Kelly's trying to make him better. But DSP's wife is like, she just doesn't give a fuck about him. Get a gun to my head. And I'll be like, dog, you're going to have to blow my brains out. This 25 push ups ain't getting done. I'm not physically strong enough. It's not how many you can do. Can you do it? Uh, I'm falling asleep here, Wings. I thought without the trolls, you'd be bigger on the internet. It's such a boring stream. <laughs> yeah. Do you think DSP would read this out? <laughs> DSP wouldn't read that out. He would just, he would just bitch and moan about what a burning storm, guys. He would literally go like, "No, this stream's not boring. You're boring." <laughs> Wait. 
No, okay. DSP bought him on there for the simps in the chat room go like, I'm fucking this. This is my girl. You guys are so lame. You can't even have a fucking female. I'm like, Phil, I have 15. Uh, I, I, I work in a restaurant. There's, there's plenty. Yeah, I'd be down to do a, a Dame Drops collaboration, though. We could, do, we could do two videos. We could do Dame Drops and Wings of Redemption, hits up the Wendy's. We also could do a, a, a Zaxby's, uh, a Zaxby sit down and chat. <laughs> I scammed you out ten dollars last time. I scammed me out another ten, bud. Dude, I don't watch videos about me. Guinea Dev, did you see the Greg Olson video? No, I didn't. I just find it funny that these dudes go out and spend money on these cameos to talk shit about me. Because they're funny. And like, these people don't give a fuck. They're just there to make the money. I mean, DSP makes a lot more money than me. But at the same time, like, it... Oh yeah, too testy for I'm anything. Like, I'm putting in the effort. I, I just... I don't know. I can take I it from I chat. I have low self-esteem on myself, and like anything I make, I don't um, here's the question: How the fuck am I supposed to win a chick over with no car? Can't win them all. And hello, alive and well in Israel. <sighs> and I think it's trash, and I just don't feel like to the point. I just don't try. Yeah, you want to hear some real shit? I've had depression for years. <laughs> that shit's hard to deal with. Try having, sure. an try having an abusive father just beating you fucking down. I ain't have that. My father just straight left. That's probably the better outcome. <laughs> I've seen your old no, no. Wings gets straight to the game. Does not stall for a minute. Reads the, reads the donations. Read everything. Gets to it. I have seen your old clips. Now you said some outrageous things. <laughs> I don't know. I remember. I, I don't know. For some reason, I remember you being Australian. But like, I meet so many different people. She will have that. that is true. Ten plus, more than these motherfuckers have. They're at minus fifty charisma. So so often, like Nightwing in my head. In my head, was a black guy. What? <laughs> no, but I just remember you having like this deep voice. <laughs> How much does it cost to make a fire chili? I have no fucking clue. I know chili at the uh, at the old Wendy's is like two dollars and forty nine cent. Favorite and least favorite minority? I'm not answering that question. Oh, ah! mm. Good, he's learning. I own 25% of my trailer insane. Um, how much? <laughs> mm. you said Hardy Sabrina? Oh, is that her last name? Jordan Sabrina Jean? Oh, because her last name is Jordan. JJ over here. Her last name is Hardy? Like, Hardy's the restaurant. Yeah, I was showing. I own twenty five percent of my trailer. Insane. Um, how much? Yeah, he, Jojo. This man owns zero percent of his house because he he either rents or lives with his parents. That's the point I'm trying to get across here. You do live with your parents. No, this guy in the forum that wants to complain that I own Twitter. Richard has lived under his mother slash grandma's roof for 32 years of his life. That is true. The deed's in her name, you idiot. No, this guy in the forum that wants to complain that I own 25% of my house. Now he's coming up with a, how much you want to bet, dog? I can beat you up. It's like, I don't care, dude. I don't care. Like you're you're out here, you're out here being an asshole to some random dude. It's like fucking. At least Wings talks to these people not well, but at least he talks to them in a normal manner. DSP has to go off and it's like I'm great, I'm great, I'm great. It's like no, uh, no short bus. You're not that great. Thursday night at eleven o'clock, and this is what you're doing with your time. Mm. It sounds like somebody with a strong pimp game, son. Bah! 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 <laughs> What's a five figure say in the face? Slap! That's my best friend. The Wings of Saturn. That's actually a legit name. Come in over there. Dog, John Jones. 
If I could do two push-ups, that's true. I'd be in a better shape than I am now. Wait, why is there an earthquake? In yeah, the deed's in her and her new husband's name, not in his name. When he paid off the trailer, he never got the deed. Sabrina never signed it over to him. She, he lives in her house. He paid off her house three times over. Conway, is that true? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it was a joke. Oh, because I because I did I did the little thing. Somebody donated a hundred dollars for me to do the finger thing. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Spin around. Finger, 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 finger. What you do? Wow. <laughs> Fucking wings stream is way more fun than a DSP stream. <laughs> you get a five hundred pound walrus. Doing finger thunder or whatever this is. <laughs> it's way more fun. <laughs> the fuck is this? <laughs> way more fun. Uh, uh, not a greed demon. Oh shit. Lomax got taken down. Damn. Mm. Wait, really? Yeah, his w video wait, is all gone. Oh. King got chopped. Are you kidding? Is it is it crazier that they're talking about Lomax? <laughs> this world's so much crazier because they're like, Lomax got chopped. Damn. And it's like, I, I miss you, Lomax. Come back soon. No he way. The, he got the can. He got canned. <laughs> what? We well, see both therapy and constant help from another constant creator until he gets back on his feet. DSP needs to Discord? Up to the face. Yeah, yeah, he needs he needs to put through a table too. Trying to figure out where's the worst place I ever farted at. He's really thinking about it. Think of me where I've actually farted. That was bad. Like I, I think the 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 one that was the most for me embarrassing was I farted really loudly while standing in line in like the sixth grade. Oh and God! Times where everybody was silent and it's like. Did you, ever fart, did you ever fart one time a little too loud and a bit of shit comes out though? Mm. You can't deny it. That shit happened. I've shit my pants before I, on a fart. I, wanna, I thought one of the wind things dudes actually died. That's they I did. Oh. Ooh. Damn. Wait, if they I did, he's like, okay, be... wings. It's a little. Okay. I don't know. I don't do any of that. Can we get a flow throughs here? Broke. Whoa! Is it nuts that the Lummox and wait, Lummox and Wings 007 are like diamond tier Rainbow Six players, but they they like Kirby, so it's all good. He's Actually, I don't know if Wings 007 likes Kirby. Uh, upside down on bathroom. I'm pretty sure. What the fuck's out there? Wait, is that a closet? What the fuck's in there? I never seen him open that door in his life. You see, watch the video about you. Who? Oh, I don't know who that is. XQC. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't watch this streams or anything like that. You should. Like, I know who XQC is. He's the fart dude. Oh yeah, he watched like that. Uh, that he farted in the mic. He, he has like eighty thousand people to watch him play Grand Theft Auto. Oh oh oh, that one. Yeah. I want all the money in the world. Dude, oh, this, me losing Why against Syndicate won't be one didn't do shit to me. Like I was still, I was still successful after the Syndicate won't be one. Yeah, but it really hurt your ego and it, it made you look like a bitch. Do you ever need a civil lawyer? I got you. Okay, cool. Thoughts on going to hell for gluttony? Hmm. I'm gonna go with I don't believe hell exists. So no thoughts. Uh, hell doesn't exist for three hundred. Is that why you're being such a weird? Cody ain't heard you, cause I spit sick like a motherfucker bird flu. Oh come on! Why would you push the window like that? Yeah, why does he get seen, killed I've like seen that? The baseball player video. It's not that good. Also, listen to that rap. Also, not that good. Like, it almost feels like the intro video is longer than the fucking rap itself. <laughs> Either subscribe, donate. What the or fuck was up. that? He did, and then he got he got destroyed. And he's like, "You guys love my," and then you get this.
pick up a projection stone? And then you get whatever this is. How do you use this thing? How do I get across here? Uh. Oh, when you walk, I see. You see what's going on? No, Phil. Please explain it to Super Blind Man. So these are pads you can use to go. I can't. I'm stuck. Come on, go up, go up, go up, go up, up, up. You can play in the Outer Wilds, the best uh, marshmallow simulator in no. gaming. This is what I don't like about the game. The controls suck. They really do. Like, all I want to do is I want to see if I can get up back up where I was. I can't. I don't even know how. I can't even. Look, I can't go up. I'm trying. Oh, yeah, it's great. Like, just keep going up. See? Like, you lose your boost. How do you keep going up? I don't get it. It's because there's, like, high gravity. I need to go over there, but I don't know how because I'm stuck here and I can't get off this fucking water. Yes, yeah, if you want to call it a walking simulator, you could call it a walking simulator. But it's really not a walking simulator. What it is is an exploration game. I see. Here's what I need to do. Got it. You're exploring this galaxy, these different planets. Why did anyone say that? Why did anyone suggest this game to him? It is beyond me. And so you're trying to find stuff on each planet. The problem is you have limited... If I'm not having fun with a game, I, I drop it. The, if the world goes supernova every 20 minutes or so... That, that was seven. Time right now no, it's 23 minutes, right? ...to do anything. No. What do I do with this thing? Ah. I actually didn't like this game at all. But I get why people did. Read this. Kanoi, Daz, and I are lifting the orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly and one so somehow sank down and beneath the current. Kanoi, you should have seen it. We thought it was... Yeah, well, he's not... ...to sink even partially below the... I just didn't like the way it's... I don't know. It's just not a game for me. That That's just the answer. It's not a game for me. ...current for our sank straight to the... I like the music. I like I like roasting marshmallows, and that's all I care about. Core. Good evening, Tyrone. Tyrone. So I will convince me not to try to recreate the phenomenon and still using other cannon. I mean, does this sound like a man that actually wants to play this game? No, it has to be. It has to be for money. Well, it's even more boring when it's it's in the hands of him. In parts, we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? But My also, not every game is supposed to be streamed either. This is not a streamer's game. Gratitude for your in interesting question. But if you're going to do a boring game like like this, you should talk more. He's like, oh, check this out. And it's like, this is ambient. It's exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giants Deep here at Brittle Hollow Southern Observatory. It reveals how an object might sink below the current. Kanoi, I'm unable to grasp the answer looking through the projection pool. Can I visit the observatory and can you kindly explain? DSP doesn't project any game when he plays it, you know? He never Kanoi, talks to anyone. the service of the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brillo Huddle's Gravity Cannon and the other at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. So I feel like we're getting important. Like, it's obviously he didn't care about doing any of this shit. Seconds ago, long range probe successfully launched with the orbital probe cannon. Okay. Yeah. Elden, yeah, I, I, I can contest to that. You should get Elden Ring, but if you're going to watch DSP play Elden... I try not to let other people ruin my experience of games. I try not to, but... DSP really just choked that game out in every way. Like the Rodan fight, like he really, really like ruined that game for a lot of people. Yeah, it states what's on screen and says that's a city and then or and all that stuff. It's like literally tour guy Phil. He only does this to super blind man. Close your eyes and pretend that that DSP's number one fan, Super Blind Man, he'll go like. There's a different one. Ah. Uh -huh. What 
What did that do? It made a noise. The way he brags and gate keeps Elden Realm really makes me mad because it's like, like you really, yeah, the way gate keeps and do all that shit. He's like, hey, you like this game? I just didn't like that. I was under twenty two minutes, but I get you know they don't want you to rush. They want you to rush and do stuff. And TSP is like Pennsylvania a whole lot. No, you're supposed to enjoy the nothing. DSP is like Ohio. A whole lot, of, a whole lot of nothing, and and it sucks. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop saying that. People are like, hey, Ohio doesn't suck. I'm like, you're right. Ohio doesn't suck, but there's a whole lot of nothing out there too. Depends where you go, I guess. Anyone from Ohio? I'm sorry. That was about it. I don't know what that did. Enjoy the nothing. Control DSP Gaming, enjoy the nothing. It's so confusing. Like I told you guys, I knew it would be confusing. I have bad news, Evans. Yero says there's a problem. Is Wings, Arkansas? You mean the whole state of Arkansas? No, he's in South Carolina. He's in the heart. He's in the heart state. I keep thinking he's in West Virginia for some fucking reason. No, he's in South Carolina. <laughs> he's in South Carolina. I love the nothing. Yeah, enjoy the nothing. With the proposed power source of the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. Hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here. I wish I were, but no, there aren't certain they can fix this problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on a definite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. Alright, so Wings is our yeah, DSP is Arkansas then. So much trash. <laughs> enjoy Pennsylvania, you can enjoy the nothing. This is, it, what are we enjoying here? An update, Malum and I will join you in Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea might feel responsible. Okay. I have no idea, but he, he's alive. He's fine. He's probably busy with kids, man. He has kids. Trust me when I say he's listening somewhere. I don't really get it. Trust me when I say he's listening somewhere. He left a message the other uh, just a few hours ago. What the hell? Uh, what was that? Yeah, that's true. He could be a flotation device. Do you think you more resemble the? Oh, I am. I am definitely a wings type. If anything, I, I'm. I, I'm not a DSP type. Well, maybe I am a little bit. You know, you see a lot of these, like the way they they carry themselves. It's just you can see that DSP is very rigid about his schedule. He's very like, oh, I need to do this and this and this, but he's not. He doesn't want to do anything new, like. For me, if I if I had to say something, but my structure is different from from a D, from a, from DSP. Like I'm not like okay, guys, we're gonna start hoodlum hours at this time and end it at this time. Like that's just not how I roll. But I can see that. I can see that 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 kind of strategy too. But you know, like. You could also go like, well, you do this every day and DSP does six streams a day. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, we don't, we, we do random streams too. We do literal random streams out of nowhere. DSP doesn't do random streams ever. It's all planned out like a fucking meal calendar. Like a, like a school lunch. It's all planned out months and weeks in advance. Today we're having burgers. And 
and it's just one of those things you look at any of these people like they just and i can see like i i upload well i don't want to say raw gameplay like i don't upload raw stuff but i clip out stuff just like he does D De- wings delete shit and that's the problem with with these two they never really figure out what the fuck they do yeah phil phil's a soccer mom and we're just not we're just not a soccer mom if if you take like the worst if you take like the the parts of what dsp does and then chop it up a little better with a little bit more garnish and a little bit more digestible that like we took that but you know we do edited stuff too so it's not like i I don't edit things. Good idea, bad idea, but I'm not like, man, you know, it's, it, you know, a lot of things, but he literally does not edit anything. He looks in the editing bay and goes like, look guys, I edited something. Yeah. I like fallout three. Yeah, he wraps up before. Yeah, wrap this shit up tight. I, one hopes, man. You know, it's one of those things that you hope that the pay pigs. You hope that the pay pigs see that and go like, "What the fuck?" I have no idea what that was. But it's just one of those things. I'm I'm tired of hearing about them, and I hope that they uh. It just seems like sometimes they don't come to their own conclusions a lot of times. They want to give DSP the benefit of the doubt, and it's like, DSP does not give a fuck about you. There's items there to grab, see? Like, I want to believe that that Kirby, that Kirby one, oh, you know, it's a final straw, but he had so many final straws. I don't know how we're getting sucked into space in the place. This is so odd. It's just one of those things you look at and you go like, I get it, you still got the 300 people. To win over, and you know, and I still got a long way to go. And he's like, "Oh, I can rage quit Kirby. It's gonna be okay." I mean, you got Ann Lee today. He's gonna do his little. Uh, he's gonna do his detoxing. We're gonna do some gaming today. We're gonna do Fortnite and probably some GT and some Elden Ring, and you know. There's games I want to play today. Damn, I want that item and I can't get it. It's just he never gets that. He, he goes like, well, I love video games. Look. It is very much an abusive relationship. And then this is the product that he puts out to the world. I don't understand what the fuck this game is. I really don't get it. It's too then stop playing it, idiot. And I have no idea what's happening right now. It looks like you're, te- you're teleporting. You need to get an item, and then when you go to get it, you get pulled away, and you can't get it. And we're running out of time. At this point, there's only a few minutes left before the whole galaxy goes supernova. (laughs) Well, DSP is nothing but time and wasted money. No breakthrough. All I knew was that the ship existed. That was it. I don't know. I didn't learn nothing. I just read the ship's log. It didn't explain anything. Dude, there's compilations of DSP waste kidding games. Stuff that, like, literal compilations. Here's one that is from 2019. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Sit rep. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safe. Oh, I can be bare had enough of you. You're out of here for good. Seriously. And people used to show up to his fucking Twitch chat and give him money. I only say that because you had so many playthroughs back in the day that ended in final fuck this. I was wondering if this was still a concern. You do realize that's completely the opposite of the actual truth. And if you believe that, you're actually believing, again, as I said many times, blatant misinformation from people who take a snippet of truth and turn it into something true. I have finished probably, arguably, more games than any other content creator. If you actually take a look at the amount of games that I've played over the years... The amount of videos I put out and the amount of sh- She's doing well because, you know, she moved out there and, you know, get, became a biker chick and made, you know, and left this motherfucker. She just didn't want to deal with him. She was a wild child at heart. 
few playthroughs I put up on YouTube, I've probably completed more game playthroughs than anyone else on the internet. Yeah, because I seven hundred. Always kind of prided myself on if I'm gonna play a game, I want to try to finish it, and it was rare. Maybe four times a year out of the hundred games I played a year, maybe four times did I say final fuck this, I don't want to finish it anymore. And this guy's a pathological liar. Rob Warren. If in some years CSB quits more than four games, heck, around twenty and more ten and twenty various cases. Once again he's lying since he quit more than a hundred games in general. Remember, this guy said he quit thirty games in his lifetime, which was another obvious lie. I mean, his banner does say complete playthroughs. But it was those exceptions to the rule that people tried to actually pretend was like the norm. Oh, Phil's just going to rage quit another game. In reality, I've barely ever rage quit anything in my life. Wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. There's something wrong with this picture here. You're wrong. Very rarely do I rage quit games. Uh, you're uh, a fucking idiot. But these idiots spread the, the slander and the defamatory lie about me so much, making it sound like truth that people believe it to this day. They actually think that I quit a ridiculous... Ah, uh, thank you for the sub. ...games, and in reality, I do, I've actually beaten... Oh, it's Dark Side it's Carl. It's just complete nonsense. <clears throat> Later on, DSP learned about the seven-hour video. All this shit caught up to him, man. Remember all this shit that he used to be, you know, the mountain just got higher. The 37 hours of editing. All right, I can see it. Anyway, here's the game's quit playing. Rage, boredom, frustration, gaming skills. Jump Force Online. <laughs> No, I didn't like I don't like Pandalee either. It's just the meals she was trying to be a good girlfriend. A stay-at-home girlfriend or whatever the fuck he was. She just didn't want to be home anymore with this dude. She just was bored. I never meant to tell you, I'm on my character bag. Yeah, I got I don't want these characters. She was not built for the uh I don't even know how to do that. He wanted to wear leather and, and, and ride bikes and be whatever. And DSP is not a guy with like, I love motorcycles. That's gonna be great. When she got that job, man, she, her life changed. The combo, dude, he's just doing, look at this combo he just did to me. This is all one combo. Damn! That was fair. Well, the way the the charm salt. That's what I did. That's exactly what I did. All right, so let's see. The first the first match, I completely dominate him. The second match, I accidentally attacked in other characters I didn't know how to play with. The third match, he does a eighty-five to ninety percent da damage combo. Okay, I'll play one more match, and then that's it for this crap. <laughs> one more match, and that's enough of this piece of garbage. Complete garbage game. Well, that just happened. Oh, it's the same guy? Oh, that's great. Yeah, Jump Force is not that great. Yeah. Probably the only guy fucking playing. Is that where the, uh... Oh, whatever. <laughs> Absolutely. I couldn't do anything. I think this looks kind of fun. Hey, DSP, I thought you were a uh, former fighting game champion. Why the fuck are you getting bodied here? Oh, 
ちで He looks like he's about to fall asleep here. That dude looks like he's about to fall asleep. Look at him. He looks like he's about to fall asleep on that couch. I don't know what's going on. I, didn't, I never checked his shots today. I never tagged in Sasuke, so I don't even know how that happened. Oh yeah, the, the days of DSP being... The DSP concentrates on on people liking every aspect of them. It's like, Phil, people can just like the stream. I don't have to like every aspect of it. I get... I get that that's a thing now. Like 100% of what they do. What if you like? You don't even have to like 100%. You can like 80% of it. The problem is, I don't like anything. I don't like any of your gaming streams. They're not even like the ha. They're boring. This is fun. No, it's not. I have no idea what's going on. I'm not gonna fault anyone for watching the tee ha ha of this, you know. Weird tracking attacks, where like even when I dodge out of the way, he still attacks me anyway. So there's no point in playing this mode unless you actually want to like learn a whole new facet of the game that was not explained in the actual story. So we'll now end this garbage. End the garbage waste of time that this is. There it goes. Game. Delete the game. Because it's a piece of fucking shit. Okay, that's it for Jump Force. Uh, a game that actually had an interesting premise that ended up being a huge waste of fucking time because the game devs were basically completely uninspired idiots who didn't understand how to make combat. Uninspired kind of idiots. And had horrible loading and horrible animations. That's pretty much it. It could have been a much better game if it were an RPG. Wow. That's the review you're going to say, you charlatan? If it had any kind of, like, talent behind the actual game mechanics, it actually would have been a good game. But instead, it's a piece of garbage. So, wow, what a review. Sad. Sad because I had a high hopes for it. At least I played through the story. It was all right, I guess. But as a game outside of the story, it's a waste of fucking time. All right. Friendly airstrike on the way. God damn it, nothing I could do. Smash the taxes goal. Remember that? What the fuck are you shooting? Gamer face Phil over here. He spawned behind me. That's exactly what happened. Yup, he spawned behind me and followed me in and killed me. Terrible spawning. This game was like 80 gigs. Great shooting, idiot. How the fuck, dude? <laughs> So unfair. My team again is absolutely god awful. Enemy UAV is in. Well, it looks like this game is unplayable now because people found a way to join the matches, even when I'm just not even showing the match to begin with, and they're joining and trolling. So I, I guess I'll play one more. This is completely yes, worse. and missing. Anymore. The game's been completely ruined for me. Because people can just keep joining and trolling, so... Smash the taxes last, eight... Last game, I $5,000. No wonder he went bankrupt. I have no idea where they are right now. I remember this map. They're coming from this way. And then this guy gets me from the other side. I fucking hate this. All this is bad spawning. They're spawning either behind us or on the other side. So you go. Wings with nowhere to go. Spawn behind you and they get you because you went from one side. It's fucking garbage. Smash the taxes, guys. You like this garbage view?
Planet Jeff at 250. Planet Idiot. Sure. He was not on my screen whatsoever. He was completely invisible. You were reloading. <sighs> yeah, that was when the uh, saved the house. I still get sniped. <laughs> 5,000. I give up on this. I seriously do. I guess this is time to retire Modern Warfare Remastered. There's no point in playing this anymore. Because you suck? Missions are awful. You missed that guy. There you go. Enemy helicopter inbound. The connections are awful. The players are awful. I mean, you're awful. So my team blows it horrendously by allowing us to get attacked by seven choppers. At this one, I think I give up. I don't know why anyone sits here and goes, this is great. I throw money, money goes out the window. Nope. Oh, he got sniper what? shot. You got I walked up and knifed him. His, his gun barrel was over my shoulder. He fired and it killed me. Yeah. Point blank, idiot. With this game, this game sucks now. This game this sucks game. now. Rim right up. The gun barrel over my shoulder. Dead. Yeah, if he hits you, it's gonna die. It's a sniper, you idiot. Sadly. 80 gigs gone. The experiment of Modern Warfare Remastered is over. It was fun for the month when it was free on PS Plus, and now it's it, it's garbage. I'm never playing that again. Fuck that stupid it's shit. It's garbage. I'm done. No way. <clears throat> War War Z song of theirs ever. Seriously. Is that the game that has like thirty yeah, it has uh this game runs at thirty frames, right? Man, this game could have been better if it ran at sixty, but whatever. It, it, I guess you could if you played it on PC. Well whatever it is what it is. The fuck is a prowler? No, we'll find out later. Did they seriously spawn me facing the wrong way? Yeah, they did. How the fuck do you waste with a zombie game? Suck. It is. Oh, that didn't make any fucking sense at all. That made no huh? Wait, what happened there? Huh? That didn't make any fucking sense at all. No, you shot that guy and he shot you. You literally shot your own enemy and it penalized you for it. Hey, I'm reloading. <sighs> what? The game never even showed her firing the fucking gun. Heavy weapon taken. I just died and then it says, oh, now she fired. Dude, this game's terrible. Are you kidding me? It never even showed uh, anything coming out of her gun. Why are you playing? Why do you spend money on this? I'm not sure if this is still on Game Pass, but it was. Oh my God. So the grenade has no effect. I can't fire my weapon. Yeah, this game sucks. The multiplayer is really bad. Yeah, it, it, it's a fun co-op game. Being shit. They're all over there in the subway car. I guess this is this is like it's zombies with team deathmatch. Is this mode? <laughs> it's getting shot. But he keeps like not 
like well, doing we're, anything. We're doing choosing. I'm sure Mortal Kombat will bring in more contributions. I don't think this game lives up to the hype. It seems slow today. It's very slow today. Because I think most people just who wanted to see it watch me play it on uh, Wednesday. And they kind of know what it is. And they don't really care. But I paid 40 bucks for it. So I was going to at least finish, you know, play one more session and finish the story and everything. Oh, no. Especially in, in first person shooters, he has zero skill. Oh my god, for Flizzo Chase, these maps remind me of Call of Duty Ghosts. Oh god. Kind of. I mean, they're kind of stupid maps. I agree. There you go. Fred Flintstone's map. gone. That's the last of them. All right, they're going to be coming up here. That was from the Tevin days where these uh, these have the little uh, yabba dabba do. Heavy weapon spawn imminent. I couldn't find You were them. reloading. Let me. You were reloading. Ben Boxer, I could care less about Billy Ray Cyrus's daughter. I don't give a shit. I'm not answering the stupid question. Take that. You don't care about oh Miley Cyrus? <laughs> that person was completely invisible. I'm no, he was in back of you, you idiot. They appeared after I was dead. What? No, they were in back of you, you idiot. Heavy weapon spawned. You know, I would be like, oh. They're in back of you. I wasn't expecting anything for this game, but then I realized I paid for it. I paid 40 bucks for this. Sure did. Weapon taken. I kind of wish there was a Series X, X up. I almost killed it. She just one health and didn't die. Oh my god. Both Democrats just traded in. You can't. Number one, I don't, I don't even know if this had a retail release, did it? I don't even know. No, I got yep. like everything else. 20 bucks. Reloading. He's in three minutes. The team is winning. She was firing. She wasn't even around the corner yet. This mode seems so she was firing all right, but and... whatever. What the fuck? This game is terrible. I'd rather just play for the PvE part of it. Throwing a grenade. I mean, have you seen him play Halo Infinite? It's terrible. Great. We lost <laughs> His aim is everywhere. Heavy weapon spawn imminent. Homie does, has not learned aim discipline at all. I did get the kill, thank god. What the fuck is shit? I don't know what's worse. The fact that the game's multiplayer is this bad, or that someone actually played the game's multiplayer to hit level 79 within a few days of it coming out. Okay, remember, this game came out Tuesday. It's Saturday. They didn't really like it, Bill. Incoming swarm. <laughs> Taken. Yeah, he has zero idea how to shoot something. Look out! DSP's uh, squad's always in the DSP's problem is he has no gun discipline at all. He just he shoots and goes. Give them one more kill so we can stop playing. <laughs> in one minute I mean what the fuck kind of aim is this what the fuck kind of aim is this he, he legit shoots the wall there doesn't line up his shot at all and just starts spraying I mean, even the red. I mean, okay. There's the head. Totally misses it because he's he's a moron. I don't know. If they're popping, but they are definitely happening. What's up, Doxy? The flow. Oh my god. We're losing people. 
Phil, you you suck at this game. Oh, oh man, oh, oh, my leg just cracked real bad. Ooh. Indeed. We're watching DSP waste crit shit. Get out of there. That place is oh. toxic. Okay. Hole puncher. All right. Well, I think that's enough. It is for me. I think we know what this is. To <laughs> who's he just cheering? So consider this game a warm up for Dying Light, and Dying Light will be good. The first one was good, said it was full of bugs. Hopefully, the sequel has no bugs. It'll be really sweet. Dying Light. All right. In 2019. We're tennis for Mario Sunshine, my least favorite Mario. The I Sinking know, like, I, City. I didn't, I didn't dislike either game. I just thought they were fucking very, very weird compared to the other Mario games. Thank you for I already played this. Oh, I was I trying to wonder what this I is. appreciate that. And then, to Wold, just to me $6. I have a friend named Kevin. It sucks. He shares the name of one of your detractors. Keep up the great work, brother. All right. Well, thank you for that. I guess it sucks. I don't see what the difference... I, I don't think that... This is oh, the walking I simulator? What the fuck is this? Fucking, uh, monopoly on the name. Just because I haven't, but that sounds absolutely terrible. With no talent doesn't mean that, uh, you know, that everyone with that name. Stop checking the map. <laughs> um, it's Tevin's fault. I'm curious, are we still in chapter three of this game? Let me see. Yeah, I heard about this game, but I'm not. Yeah. Really know what the fuck it is. Considered, we're now considered to be in chapter four, which is called Fathers and Sons. What's funny? I hate walking simulator games. In the game, right? Like it didn't actually trigger that whatsoever. It just said, "Zoop, you're there." That's freaking weird. So, the sunken city. FYI, Fathers and Sons is chapter four. The game has nine chapters. So after, if I were to beat Fathers and Sons, I'd roughly be halfway through the game. And I've already played it 10 hours. So you're talking at least 20 hours of running around doing this kind of repetitive shit to beat it? Yes. Eh, I don't know, man. Well, like I told you guys, um, I'm really not interested in continuing this playthrough at this time, just being honest. There's I'm bored with it. I'd rather like to do in place of playing The Sinking City. Um, for now, I'll keep it. Maybe in the future, if, if interest builds up and people are like, no, Phil, we really wanted to see you continue to do it. No, Phil, I re really wanted you to play Sunken City, you bitch. I would consider it. But for now, I'm actually, I'm basically saying that's if... It oh, especially these days with him being like, look over there, that's a city and shit? Yeah, fuck now. that. Like, I'm not interested enough to continue on with this. Um, And quite frankly, uh, I don't really want to... Uh, waste more time with it when I know people want to see other things. For example, people have been asking for MLB to return. People have been asking me for Mortal Kombat 11. And they're like, why are you keep playing this game? And I kind of agree with you. I don't think there's enough going on in this game to, to hold interest for me to keep... In I don't know. understand the idea when he says interest like... I don't know what you mean by that, but whatever. In my rotation for now. Maybe at a later date. But for now, I think uh, we're definitely putting it on a hiatus. So... Whether you watched this far on YouTube or you watched live on the streams, I want to say thanks. Tonight's stream, by the way, in particular, was fun because we had interactions, which was great. We talked a lot, and it made it a little bit more interesting. But this game is not very interesting to me. And so, sadly, the Singing City, a game that I was actually looking forward to this year, ends up being kind of a disappointment just because it's not very good. And uh, I guess... I don't know what interest stop, means. Stop it from sinking. It's going it to remain underwater. All right. Right. He rage yeah. quit Madden. Pro level difficulty against the Redskins. Pro level difficulty against against the they're, Redskins? Are you fucking kidding me? They're the lowest ranked team I've played so far. Only a 76. Oh wow, we went up. We went up to 72 now. That's good. At least our ratings are increasing. That's good stuff. The lowest okay. rated team. There are 76 green, and you're yellow. Between the Washington Redskins and the Miami Dolphins. Remember, the voice you heard roasted the shit out of him. Stadium in Miami. Standing by for the call. Here are Brandon Guy. That's Jonathan Coachman. Oh, fuck. He's dancing. Appropriately for his career win total. Dance. Three, four, seven, done. But they're telling everyone that they're going to be there in the end. Ah, Rockstar says they're the worst team in the NFC. 
That's one of the cops. There's 76. All right. You're 72 you know, with the command. There. Let's see how the commanders do against that. And we'll see how we do with the runs against these guys. The runs. See how it goes. You're going to run on the 30. All right, let's see what happens. Here's the first kick. Bake, he faked it. And that didn't fool anybody. He's yeah, that really didn't fool anyone. Josh Allen got your ass. Really sets him back now for second down. A tackle for loss there. That Two sucked. Last week. He's I think he did. Off the edge. That's not like a game that would scary. Scary game. Yeah, that's not like something you would do. Into the backfield. But the best one is to build a run as well. Caught it. Oh, 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 dropped it. Holding the point of attack and also getting that's bullshit. How is that my it's in pro mode? Yes. Pass play there, but you were too early, idiot. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense. Really, Jared Allen, not Josh Aaron? Okay. Now, the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands. Guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. Oh, I don't even have routes and slants. Good shit. And they get him down, but not before he takes oh. it across the 40-yard line. A third down. Yeah, the Miami Dolphins. Thank God. No, he does not know the rules of football at all. Goes, oh, it's Drake. I have a five. But, but he's he's playing quarterback only. So it's quarterback and not. But I don't even see like the lines for the slants and shit. Oh, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Four more. I gotta go for a The coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs. They'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out. Oh, he's going for a pass. All right, there's the slants. One straight up. I'm gonna guess you go for Wilson. Get the first. Get the first. Did he get it? Did he get it? No. Fourth and one. They get only four that time. Is fourth and one. Oh my. God. Bill goal. That was bad. Now they scored. This is bullshit. Fourth and one. Now oh, he could, he could have went for a field goal. No, oh God, they're way. He's way too far. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I couldn't see where it is. Wow. He got it. Make five, God six, seven it. yards on first down, and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. On second down, it's Drake. Now the runs don't do anything. Seriously, the runs get stopped every time. He just, it seems, seems like he's just picking plays and just hoping for the best and go like, what? No gain on that one. Is yeah, the runs are now fucking garbage. You're garbage because you're on EA Sports. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football as they've got a second and eight forthcoming. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Check, 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 check. Here's second and eight. Ah, he got sacked. What was I going to do? Nothing. There. My Jonathan defense did Allen nothing at all. You picked the play, idiot. Moron. Give up a sack from the O-line's perspective. You picked the play, idiot. Such a good route runner shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are. The runs do nothing now. The runs are completely pointless. You picked the you picked the plays, idiot. In the right spot, and they connected there and picked up a first down. Ugh. Now, All right, press the square guy. Let the square dude get out there. No, it's way okay. It's oh, and that's gonna be dude. Dude, his route was go this way, and he went that way. Oh no, he didn't go for square. He didn't go for circle, dude. Did he? Now he'll look to throw here on second. He should have went for circle, dude. No. Like he literally put the 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 ball into the line of script, whatever. Like, like, why would you throw it that way? You should throw it to Square Dude. Square Dude was wide the fuck open. Square Dude was wide open, literally wide motherfucking open. There was nothing for Square Dude. Square Dude was open. 
He could have ran that slant and got a touchdown. Look deep for Wilson. But no, not not motherfucker over here. He throws it into literal danger. A shot, but it's third down. Even without a top pressure, and his victory was pretty because the corner. This is tough. Extremely. You're an idiot. Defend from my perspective. What we just saw there is that sort of the evolution of the tight end. Still throwing it. Yeah, I think it is because more and more. Did dude, we didn't like square dude. No, he should have thrown it to square dude. He would have scored that touchdown right there. He was open. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Off the play slant, slant, square dude. Oh, I meant triangle dude. He should have. Man, he throws that ball quicker than anything. What the fuck's that about? Like, give the man some room to breathe. He's like, here it is. Out, out the door it goes. Oh. Literally, out the door it goes. Oh. Off the play fake. I mean, if he just gave that room a, a little bit more room to breathe, he could have got the playoff. Oh. Over the middle, but it's incomplete. Terrible. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Kosicki, and it's third down. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches. Man, he has no discipline here. All right, let's see. You're gonna throw it to X, dude. X, dude, probably got the best. X, dude's open. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, he fumbled it. <laughs> what? Got it. Yeah. How do you fumble it? Was it to? Gotcha. Yes. Fumble. <laughs> Got him. <he>. Got him. <he. laughs> okay. Fuck you. No. It was a it was a perfect completion. He caught it. He did. He fucking game says fumble. Fuck you. No. He, he fumbled the ball. You threw it too fast. Oh, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not. <laughs> bullshit. I'm not doing bullshit. I work my ass off. And the you could challenge it for an incomplete, Bill. Asshole fucking fumbles it. Fuck off. I work my ass off for the completion. He's wide open. Oh my god. DSP plays for the Dolphins, and he looks like. Catches it, random fumble. Fuck you. And that's the problem with pro mode. Pro mode will just do stupid shit to fuck you over. Oh, random factor. He had butterfingers that day, and he drops the ball. That's butterfingers. Are you watching Chisel Chisel Adonis? Oh yeah, his his sense of timing is just fucking off. That was. Like, dude, he literally launched that ball as quickly as he got it. Not fun. That's seriously not fun. That's called I worked my ass off to get to the completion. Perfect. He's open. Get I worked my ass off. You call that working your ass off because it's what I saw was sadness. The completion fumble. Fuck you. That's not fun. That's called oh random bullshit to fuck you over and piss you off. Is he supposed to catch every ball, Phil? Fuck you. Seriously, fuck you. This is not fun at all. So fuck that. Seriously, fuck it. Yeah, you wanted to play literally the. Uh, you wanted to play. False setting. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. Rookie. Dear EA, if you actually want to make a game fun for someone who's not. Why did you cool say it's a pro anyway? It's random shit. It's one thing. Okay, they're stopping my run. Okay, make me work harder by having completions on throws. Perfect. I like that. Oh, you worked your ass off. You get punished for it because there's a random factor of fumble. Fuck you, I'm not playing it anymore. So fuck that. I'm just not doing it. I'm not. Rookie is not default. Yes, it is, dude, Frozen. That's the default setting for this mode. Rookie is the default setting for this mode. I never changed it. You just did to pro. You were on pro mode. That's it. I only have a certain tolerance for bullshit. I'm not going to waste my time working my ass off and lose games because, oh, in pro mode, random fumble. Fuck you. Fuck you, EA. I mean that. Fuck you, EA. I mean, you should only play promo if you actually know what football is. Okay. That just shows you don't know what football is. Games in the modern era. Garbage. Terrible fucking gameplay. Hey, everybody. <laughs> actually. Terrible gameplay. It is football, DSP. Fuck off. Oh, 
Blame EA for yeah, making sh a shit game, game with four, shit difficulty. That's exactly what that is. I worked my ass. <laughs> Phil's like, I worked my ass off. I want my ball. And then they fuck me. Well, fuck you. All right, let's see. Let's see how you do better with this. <laughs> let's see how you do with this slant, you bitch. What the f Shout out to Meerkat with his eight hour stream yesterday. <laughs> Big up, see you. What the fuck is this? Ah. <laughs> control boss fight Shit. side. Oh, this is control. He waits great control. How the fuck do you rage quit control? Have this, fucker! Hey, you missed, pal. Yeah, control's good. It's one of the first computers I played, one of the first games I played on my computer with ray tracing. That's when I realized ray tracing was like, oh shit. I can't dodge right now. I mean, take the, the whole thing, but at least I can see like, oh, uh, I see. Died. Why did I die? Because other enemies that suicide or spawn around you and you get fucked up because of them. Not because of the boss, because it spawns enemies too close to you. Once again, the combat sucks. Uh, wow. The game doesn't suck. The problem is the combat execution is so poor for a modern game. You could tell that they just don't have the expertise to make a game that can hold water when it comes to top games of the modern era. They're, How are they supposed to be that? Wake. Ten years old, the game fucking plays exactly the same as Alan Wake. Like, what the hell? And it does the same thing. It's fucking crazy repetition. I have I have control for PS5. They gave it away for PSN Plus. Way back in the day, and the game's exactly the same. That's pathetic. Oh my god! Now I can't get up here. Oh my god. Well, you don't have the expertise to aim either. I mean, literally, you can dodge those things back at them. Literally dodge them back at him and he doesn't. He's like, I'm gonna keep dodging and I'm in the open. Great shooting, Tex. We know you already suck at shooting. Why does nothing take away any health? Look at this. He doesn't lose any fucking health. I was behind cover and he still hit me. Oh my god. <laughs> I agree, it's boring. It, the combat is fucking pathetically boring. Game of the year, Phil. Think about this combat. I'm only doing it to get the final trophy, really. And like I said, the other side quests I could do to get the platinum, they're not hard. It's just tedium. Tedious to do them all. Why are you I doing the platinum the here? Worth doing the ones that had plot lines associated with them. <clears throat> no, he is not patient. He has zero patience whatsoever. Oh my God. No focus, no patience, no concentration. He got his fucking shields back. What? An invisible enemy spawns directly in front of me and insta kills me. 2019 game design. An invisible enemy spawns in front of me and insta kills me. And? What's your problem? Oh, 
Holy shit. Why me? Is... What a shame. Again, another game for Remedy would have been good if they knew how to implement actual combat gameplay, and they don't. See, DSP don't know, thinks his best... I DSP think thinks that... that uh... ...half of the game because it got tedious, but you can at least forgive it because you're like, oh, you know, the gameplay... Uh, you know, was supposed to be creepy or unlimited or whatever because of the plot line or whatever. She's supposed to be like a godlike psychic ability using person and just gets insta killed by normal enemies that stand right in front of her out of nowhere. It's like, wow, what a great game. There it is. And you don't even toss it back at him. Oh my god. I can't hit him. Look. Ultimate troll boss. Oh, yeah. Another enemy spawned out of nowhere. The invisible enemy I gotta kill before I can go back to him. Unlimited you? ammo, alright. This shield's being regenerated. <laughs> Didn't die. Oh, it's, it would be at the game. Realize it's been revoked a long time ago. It is. I can't fucking see it. This is terrible. This is complete trash. What the fuck, Remedy? You guys. And stop playing it then. Shut up. This is fucked up horribly. What? You gotta be kidding me. My own projectile took all my health. This is 2019. My projectile took all of my health away. How can you tell me this is fun or anything worth playing? I don't know. Dying is fine. I don't mind dying in a game, you know, unless it's like bullshit. You can't dodge when you're throwing stuff. You have to be very close, though. What? What happened? I couldn't even see that. I dodged it, nothing happened. Declining indeed. Now here come the enemies on the ground. Wow, I just got hit. I don't know what I was supposed to do. Oh! The enemy spawned behind me and killed me again. Again! That's what, the tenth time it just spawns right next to you or behind you and you can't dodge it? How long is this? Oh, oh all right, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Yeah, you guys are good. You're great. Top notch. All right, here we go again. So now I need to fight all these enemies while he's throwing shit at me. He's an invisible. Oh, yeah. I did no damage to it. He's not good at any of these yeah, games. No fucking damage to it at all. Dude, he just keeps throwing stuff. I can't dodge it when I'm hitting other enemies. Now I have no health again. And now the invisible enemy is going to end up killing me. <laughs> the invisible enemy. Those things don't even give you any health. Oh, I'm dead. Yup, it spawned behind me. I give up. Fuck this. Seriously. I give up. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. It's a waste of time. The game literally... It's a waste of time. ...fucking annoy you and cheat you. Oh, uh, it will always just spawn right next to you and instantly blast you. And then you try to hit it, there's no damage to it. Fuck you. So, sadly, I hate to say this. Control is a disappointing game. The plot is great. The atmosphere is great. The world design of the different things inside the oldest house are good. The combat is absolutely poor. It just is. It's a, it's a, a game that screams for cover-based combat that doesn't have it. Um, 
I can understand what they were going for, and some of the powers are cool, but ultimately, if you're trying to get any kind of, like, challenging gameplay or anything out of it, all of this is annoying, and it's because of out insanely outdated game design, lack of checkpoints, all endless boring enemy gauntlets, things that you think they would have done away with 10, 15 years ago, um, and Remedy still hasn't listened and still hasn't learned. Um, I had the exact same complaints with Alan Wake, and here we are, oh, what, 10 years later, and it's the same shit. So, it's a shame. They're really good at atmosphere and really good at plots and terrible at gameplay mechanic implementation. I would say, here's what Remedy should do. Alright, I'm serious about this. Write the story, design the characters, do all that for their next game, and outsource the gameplay to someone else. I mean it, because they just, they're not competent at this. This is the third straight game. Alan Wake, Quantum Break, Control. Three straight games, the combat sucks. And... That's a major element and component of your game. Yes, exploration, Metroidvania-like puzzles. He needs to stop reviewing games angry. He really does need to stop reviewing games angry. I fucking hate when he reviews games. He goes like, well, they don't know how to fucking do this or this and this and this. That's why your reviews suck because every time you do something, it's like, that's it for this game. I hate it because I had a bad time. I didn't have checkpoints. I didn't do this. Things like that is a major part of the game that was very fun. But when every time I have to do a boss fight, every time I have to do major combat, it's boring or tedious or annoying, and nothing about it feels fun, that's a problem. The fun, And then, of course, I gotta have to say, the end of the game, completely underrated, or excuse me, completely underdeveloped, completely not done well, no true ending, that's a cop-out. There should have been a true ending to the game where you find out what the hiss is, you find out what's going on, they just copped out and said, we're not going to give you the ending, so that way you have to control two DLCs. Now, with Alan Wake, there actually were two DLCs, and you did get an ending, not even in the game, but it was actually a spinoff. You guys remember American Nightmare? So American Nightmare kind of ended Alan Wake officially, um, but still, like, I, I, I'm sorry, you should not have to wait for DLCs for an ending, a true ending to your game, and I hate that, that game developers are still doing this. Basically, to keep getting your... Oh, keep playing. Keep getting more attention from what, you know. So, it's a mixed bag for me. Like, I'm, I certainly did not dislike every moment I played the game. In fact, a lot of the times, I was having a lot of fun with it. At the same time, incredibly disappointed at the end. And I just think that the combat is still bad. After 10 years, you think the game development studio would have learned. They didn't... Oh, did Phil ever play Dragon Quest? Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Never played Dragon Quest. Careful, the ring's heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Hey, you wow. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Today, every game wants to be action-based because the, the low attention span of modern gamers, I hate to say it, like, oh, turn-based is for slow-moving and boring. Like, no, actually, turn-based takes a lot more skill because when you have higher-ass level enemies that have special, you know, abilities or defenses, you need to break them. It actually takes a lot of strategy to do it. I felt like you played Dragon Quest XI forever. I didn't learn a thing. And it's like, you, at one point, you gotta, like, throw your aim. Yeah, I felt like he played Dragon Quest XI forever. Ever gonna learn. And should we buy their games if they don't learn? And they don't. So, um, it's a mixed bag for me. I really like the plot. The plot actually will stand out for me as probably one of the best plots of 2019. But the combat is just, it brings the game down so bad. So, it's a mixed bag, okay? All right. It's a mixed I bag. You guys, um, enjoyed the playthrough regardless. Thanks to everyone who watched, whether you watched on stream, whether you watched on demand on YouTube. Hopefully Remedy will learn from their mistakes, but I don't know. This is the third game in 10 years, and they still didn't, so I'm not very optimistic about it. Now, I've heard that there are DLCs coming out for Control. Great. If there's an absolutely free DLC, and it adds to the story, that's what I'm looking for. I want more story from this game. So if there is a story-based DLC that comes out, I'll check it out. Um, I'm not paying any more money for this game. You know what I mean? I ain't like, paying no more money. money. So, 
if they're, you know, we'll see what happens. I, I did buy the deluxe edition. You did. But I don't know if that included the, With the worst stuff. Uh, I actually did. I think that music in it. Deluxe edition that it came with the DLCs. I could double check that actually, but while we're adjourning here. Uh, it's not going to show. Well, if I go to the game page, maybe I can go to see other versions. Yeah, here it is. This is what I got. It did come with the season pass. All right. So I will, when, when those DLCs come out, I mean, it would be stupid for me not to check them out because I bought this, the digital deluxe and I have the season pass. Oh, my God. Nice. Yeah, it has the season pass and everything in it. So I will be checking it out, I guess. Uh, when the when the DLCs come out, I'll give them a look. Okay. okay. All right. That's it, everyone. Thanks for watching my control playthrough. Peace out. Oh, blackout. Any hiding bathrooms in this one? <laughs> what? Ah, uh, die so fast. That didn't make any sense. Oh, look! Stream Sniper! No wonder. There was no way he would have known I was there. He cheated. So, alright. Stream Sniper cheated to find out where I was for the final match. A waste, of, a waste of time piece of shit. That's why I don't care about this game. That's why I'll never play it again. The game's a fucking piece of donkey shit. It really is. Uh-oh. It was fun for the last year. Blackout gone. Playing with all of you. It was. It was fun playing with all of you and chilling with you in that game. Um, the actual multiplayer of Black Ops 4 is abysmally bad. I hate it. It's one of the worst I've ever played. I never bothered with the zombies. Uh, so at least I definitely got my money's worth out of Black Ops 4 for all the wrong reasons. The only reason was because, you know, Battle Royale's a fad. <clears throat> and people wanted to see me do Battle Royale and have interactive streams, which is what that served its purpose for. So, that was it. That's the end-all, be-all. At least I made top 10 in the last match. That was good. And I only lose to top a shitty-ass stream sniper. Right? So, thank you guys. Very what much. What an a-hole. Great almost year of Black Ops 4 Blackout uh, matches. It was fun. It was entertaining. Mostly our conversations were more... His reviews suck. His reviews suck. Sorry, I was sneaking a quick buy of Fruity Pebbles. All it is is like, I hate this game at the end. Phil, if there's any suggestions, you shouldn't review, and you shouldn't review Elden Ring at, after you beat it, because it's going to be, Elden Ring, I fucking love it, blah, 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 blah. It, it is the most bullshit. More fun than anything else. I certainly hope that you guys uh, enjoyed the sessions. And, you know, here's the better thing. Watch that one. Onward and upward, as you say. Um, like I said, it's not it's the end. Blah, 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 blah. Other battle royals. Like, I'm very interested in going back to PUBG. Uh, we've got other chill stuff that people want me to start doing, like Morrowind and stuff like that. And I'm down for all of that. It's so, literally the most. Thanks, guys. It's, for, ang uh, it's angry reviews, but I'm like. Awesome, fun. Every time we play Blackout. It, it, it is, is rage-filled reviews. With me, okay. And by Men Sex with the final contribution of the night here. So very well, Black Ops 4. Good night, Phil and chat. That is it. As you can see, I deleted it all. And uh, that is it for Black Ops 4. The most right nothing now. reviews. I attended a stream or watched the videos on YouTube. Uh, until we find the next big Battle Royale game. This is DSP signing off. Later, guys. <clears throat> How the fuck do you rage quit Mario Kart? How? How the fuck are you this trash? Yo, I get touched once and it's all speed. How are you this trash? How am I gonna beat this stage? I How are you? Yeah. Wow, you are trash. Are so How are you this trash at Super Mario Kart? How you rage quit Kirby? Well, that's a great answer, but how do you rage quit Super Mario Kart?
This is the problem. They all make the turns with, with insane handling that you can't do in the game. Dude, you're not they're spinning. Realistically. So they look. They're bobbing and weaving. They're not power sliding at all. The, the computer never. You're not power sliding at all. Never. Oh my god. Oh, I get the toad and when I hit him. Oh, your star ran out. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, you can learn how to power, tr power slide like a bitch and he's not doing it. This is so fucking stupid. I don't know how. <laughs> They how about all can do perfect handling. You don't can't you can't do that. It's impossible in the game to handle like that on those corners. You impossible. can handle it on those corners. You're really bad at this, Phil. Immediately I'm not playing. Race just fucking starting. Keep power sliding. And you can't make the turns. Dude, I don't, what's the point of this? This is so bad. I can't make a single turn without them all passing me because they have artificial handling. When you're as bad as DSP, come on, DSP. It, it, it's fucking Super Mario Kart. How do you fuck this up? Oh boy, you didn't get a lot of There's shit no back then for this. They would just go like, "DSP Rage Quit Super Mario Kart," and we just no way to make we just went like, speech. "Okay, this is okay." Yet yeah, they all do, which is fucking hilarious. We just kind of accepted it, didn't we? Everyone was like, "It's okay, oh, Philip's a failure." <laughs> I'm like, yes, Phillip's a failure. I mean, and then you have actual incompetent gamers that actually know how to do something, and then you're like, well, you like playing, you actually are competent at it. I'm like, oh. yeah. Amazing. This man can't even beat. This man can't even beat Super Mario Kart. He can't, he doesn't understand the concept of power sliding. It does not understand the concept of power sliding is the quintessential of of this game it is something I can understand when I was like six. Oh my God. This this man cannot cannot figure out how to fucking power slide. It's fucking sad. Do that. If you drift, you lose control in this game. This is not like a future Mario Kart. In this game, when you start drifting, you lose control of your car and it flies into the wall. Yeah, he's tapping it. He's not. He's people. Holy shit! Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because you're not. You're not power sliding. The drift. That's it. See, you lose control of your car. No, Look, no. That's it. There was no way to make that. You're trip. supposed to jump and slide, you idiot. You make it. You're done. When you jump in this game, you maintain your speed, and you're able to turn your car in midair. No shit. If you only play Future Mario Kart, yes, you're correct. This one, no. The original is completely different from Future Mario Kart in this regard. Yes, the first one. I can't do it. I can't make the middle turn. I'll never win this race. I will never win this race. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's right into Luigi. Somehow it goes beeline into the guy with the fucking shell. Or a fucking a star. What a piece of shit. Idiot. Oh, my God. And people think, oh, Red Super oh, dead. No, Red Super is very much alive. No, he's basically Red Super right here. I'm, uh, it's terrible. I would pop it in and show you how to do this, but it's way more fun watching Phil fail at it. Can't get the speed boost until Toad hits me. This is fucking a joke, a laughable. Oh yeah, he saves coming in Mario Kart, and we just let it go. It's high difficulty. It cheats so hard. High difficulty cheats so hard. Lucky. I can do it when I was a kid, Phil. You can't do it now. Sure did. 
you have saved scum every game until you can. He's like, no. If you do fall out of first, you have to have the item to knock them out from where they are so you can catch up easily. Without that, you can never catch up in this game. Not in this difficulty. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, last attempt for today. We can always try this at a future date. I know I wasn't going to beat everything today. Last attempt for today. You can't beat everyone today? Mario Kart's an hour, a game that's an hour long, idiot. What? Trying different times for the speed boost. Ugh. Just, just fucking race. <laughs> oh, he's bored, everyone. Wow. Fake. Oh, he's bored, everyone. Here he goes. I mean, the whole point of this game is to just power slide through everything, and he's just not. I use the mushroom. I mean, you can power slide into uh, in the spin out, but you can, you know, he's like not doing that. He's me into the fucking side. Now I can't do anything about it. Look, it's me away from the Z boost. How the fuck do you not power slide? You give me the worthless mushroom. He, he, he power sliding, dog. Fucking mushroom over and over that I can't fucking use on this map. He wouldn't, he wouldn't do that well on Ninja Gaiden on the NES. Okay, that's enough for today. Next time I play again, which I don't know when it will... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Just... I think that sound came from that that same game, but wow, Phil, you that was that was fucking awful. I, someone needs to bring this up to him one day and go like, "You rage quit Mario Kart, not even Mario Kart, literal Super Mario Kart. You rage quit Super Mario Kart." How the fuck do you do that? Well, B, I will try to beat that. That's so tough. I'm telling How you. How the fuck do you do that? And that's it. There's still two more. There's still Star Cup and Special Cup that are even harder. Notorious P.I.G. <laughs> that was fucking terrible. Oh, Bloodstain Ritual of the Night. It has skirts in it. Can have dresses. Nope, can't go that way. <laughs> he looks stupid with his Yoshi Skitties costume. For two months in a row, 18 totals is loving the Phil Yoshi. Thank you, Skitties. And Mr. Boobsy, Tippy. I'm now. scared. So, I love your costume. Hope you're having fun playing your games. What games are you going to come next? Oh, we're doing two PC games next. Either Stalker or Visage is next. Visage. You guys, what you want to see next? But, like I said, let's, let's try to find a save point quickly here. Tip's goal is $500. Yeah. A leather chest guard. Much worse than what I have. Was he married? Oh, yeah, he was married here. No? I I oh, I had to break it by stabbing it low. Well, I died. Now, thank you for the super chat, Alfred Aponte. Yeah, he's just literally drowning games for cash. It's fucking gross. Alfred Aponte donated $2 through super chat. It's gross. He literally just drowning games for cash. Nah, he, he got he didn't like the graphics of Stalker and said done. Wow. Tax fraud Yoshi. I don't think you need a face cam for everything, but you know, it fits into our uh, our layout quite nicely. We're not in any way. When I play a game, I'm not in the way of anything. What the f The game was crashing. Well, what sucks is I'm pretty sure 
It completely undid all my progress. Yeah, it did. So you can- You died. You can use from when you save. If you die, that's it. You literally lost all progress. <sighs> okay, I guess that's it. For Bloodstained. Very nice. <sighs> oh, here's a stalker oh. one. Shout out Chernobyl. The fuck is this? Ugh. Oh. I'm so glad I'm here now. I think LSB was covering this. It was like the last LSB marathon that I enjoyed. I'm almost certain that the VTuber before he lost his mind. Uh, still love him, but you know, it's like... It was the last time that I could have remembered when, he, when Yoshi committed task fraud. And I was... Was it 2020? No, Tevin does this one. The next one in 2020 was the was was Ellis, and then that was the last like marathon until the new class came in. Kill the bandit leader. Let me see. Is he falling asleep? He does look that way. It is still light out. Kill the bandit leader. Let me save. Oh my god. He honestly looks like he doesn't want to do this. Incredibly boring. This is really bad, but I'll, I'll play a little bit more since people voted for it. But I'm really toughing through this one. <clears throat> I'm really toughing through this one. An anonymous $5 tip says you have the best fans on the internet. I agree. I absolutely agree. I love my fans. By the way, we're now up to about $71 in tips, so thank you guys very much. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wow, Phil, this looks terrible. The character wears a radioactive artifact that his belt enters the area with high level of background radiation. You know he doesn't give a fuck about games when he reads it's things like that. It's out of the derelict machinery scrapyard. Well, Expecting I'm gonna die. We're low on numbers, so everyone's welcome to give us a helping hand. This is thrilling. It's not. It's bad. <laughs> it's really boring. So that was exciting, man. Is Stalker really bad, or he just didn't want to play it? Gear to survive there, right? I agree with you, DJ Runo. The head bobbing makes me sick. It's so weird. The head bob is so heavy in the game. It's fucking very odd. Don't you get it, retard? <clears throat> I don't have anything. <laughs> Is it boring because he didn't want to play it, or is it boring because he's a moron? Uh, oh my god. Yeah, this is bad. Don't shoot. Don't you the bandits. It, Help! Oh my god. Why am I trying to rush through rush through this? Are you blind? I take 50 to 60 percent damage per shot. Rush through it, he said. I mean, the game is called Stalker. You could, oh you know, God. sneak up against them or something. Don't you get it, Richard? <laughs> People, this is the oh commander of the God. neutral squad. We've wow, this is terrible oh. gameplay, Phil. We're gonna speed this up. Wait, you had a fucking. We're low on numbers. Of the derelict machine. You had a fucking pistol this whole time and didn't use it. Oh, so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna speed through it. Sorry. More time to hell. This is a game that. I never played this, so I have no idea. PS fucking 2, right? 
But the game is bad, man. It's no good to modern characters at all. Game's made in the 2000, Phil. Great. Remember, I never played Crisis 1. I only played Crisis 2 on Xbox 360. Okay. Why did they suggest this game? They're coming, they're coming. What, what's coming? Didn't Stalker take forever to come out? And when it did, it was... It did get reviewed nicely. Oh, is that what it was? All right. Is that why he hates it? Because it's it's fucking hard as shit. Awful, terrible. One of the worst fucking games anyone's ever asked me to play. Um, a complete waste of time. It runs like shit. It plays like shit. You're playing it on an old ass computer. Maybe if this were, you know, 12, 13 years ago, uh, there'd be something interesting. That game was fucking co complete ass by modern standards. I'm not saying 12, 13 years ago it was complete ass. I'm saying today that game is really, really fucking bad. Like, that was a complete waste of everyone's time. I don't know if people were trolling me, who, who dominated and voted for that thing. Uh, that was quite, 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 quite bad. I can't see where the light switch is to turn it back. Visage. What am I supposed to do? I can't see shit now. Oh, this is this the oh, first the time you played Visage? The ghost is a troll. This is the first time he played this game he hated, right? And he just did it last year? What to do to have fun with Visage. You know what you're doing and you're just wandering around the house is boring. You know, he like eventually I figured it out. Oh. Oh, I'm supposed to smash the mirrors and go inside. I didn't know that. Now what the hell is going on? I don't know, Phil. Figure it out. I'm very glad we're almost done with this because my hand is killing me from playing on PC. I'm so not used to it. Oh, this looks great. Uh, wow, this game looks terrible on this PC, though. Look how pixelated it looks. Enough of this one. <laughs> Again, if I had puzzle solutions, maybe it'd be more fun. This is like. Hey, can you guys give me more money? At this point. I think we're done with this. This is the final room I'm doing in this. You don't even do PC gaming anymore. They didn't even mess with it. This game looks like looks like a PS2 game. Oh no, it's from the Halloween Marathon 2019, one of the last of the Tevin Halloween marathons. I didn't open one, I don't think. And then LSB did one. This game the one and only. Ten on Steam, nine out of ten. Oh, he did the Colonel Sanders one. LSB did. Nine out of ten. The drawing seems to depict a moon. Oh, so what it is is a two sided moon with clouded vision lies down innocently by guilty shadow. Fuck this. I guess maybe there's two bodies that have those pictures on it. Seemed like a lot of waste quitting this. Uh... Go back. Oh my god! Did you just waste quit? Oh, oh my god! That angle with Yoshi. He's like, God dang it! Why am I on this guy's head? You just waste quit every game in this marathon, haven't you, bitch? Somehow missed. <coughs> I'm holding up, so I don't know how he's missing. I mean, is this a fun marathon for people? You waste quit everything. 
Seem like you're not having fun with any of this. Ugh. He only made $97. My God. Yeah, but in his hands, it looks terrible. They're fucking crucifix boomerangs, or whatever the fuck they're supposed to be. What? I turned my head for one sec, I turned back, the thing followed me, homing. No, you walked into that one, Phil. of the Linquist Forger. How much were you drinking that day, Phil? Can you get a Yoshi voice? I did a Yoshi voice earlier, but I'm getting tired now. I don't... You gotta do a Yoshi voice and get tired. What a, what a great I marathon. I for a game like this. Like, I like Dark Souls, but this is, like, not as good as Dark Souls, but it requires the patience of Dark Souls. You see what I'm saying? Like you don't have the patience for it anyway. It's like you want to you have to be super fucking patient, super careful about everything you do in the game, but it's not Dark Souls. It's not like, Dark it's Souls. Like it's a 2D Souls. game. This is the best franchise that does it. But this is just like kind of a pretender game, you know. I want to be like Dark Souls, 2D stuff. It's not That's great. Dark Souls. It's just a 2D game. Quite frankly, tedious. You have to be insanely safe about everything. More Mega Man like, than Dark Souls, you know. It ends up being not fun, I think. Fuck it. Jesus, these guys are so fucking annoying. Just sad. Is there a dodge button in this game? Or a block? Because he seems like he's getting fucked by everything. The vertebra oh my god. The vertebra of John the Gambler. Alright, I'm done with this. I'm seriously, like, these games aren't, I'm sorry. Three rage quits in this marathon. Okay. Alright, Bloodstained was pretty fun. I would go back to that one. Uh, Stalker was terrible. It ran like shit because it was such an old game. It looked terrible. The controls were absolutely god-awful. The camera sway was unbearable. This is not a good game to play in 2019. It's super dated. Visage stunk. It's just like a boring, very cryptic... He came back to Vigis and loved it. ...game. Every once in a while, you figure out a puzzle or whatever, and there's a little jump scare. And now this game is like, okay, if you really, really, really are into Dark Souls-like games... You'll like it, but I have zero... F if you really, really into Dark Souls games, the fuck does that mean? Fucking patience for this. Zero. We know, Phil. I, wanna, well, I spent $20 on this game for this marathon today. 20 bucks. <laughs> All right, I've had enough of this. It's, yeah, that game is not Metro. Oh, God. Oh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic. Oh, yeah. He got this for free and he way squid it. So why is Sonic 16 bit and Mario 8 bit? Because they're going back, I guess, to their. This is what you do with your review. Right? So Mario was starting 8 bit and Sonic started in 16. But you're right. Like, they could have done a 16 bit Mario. You're absolutely right. They didn't want to do a 16 bit Mario. Lose. Piece of cake, baby. That was too easy. You want to do some more training, Eggman? It's only starting to get warmed up, and the Olympic Games have just begun. The next event will be ours. Oh my god. This is what they do in his review. Chapter 3 The Search for Tales. Oh, great. Oh. No, this game was a review copy because he's like, I bought it. And this is what they, you know, Sega or whatever went like, hey, would you like a review copy of this game? He's like, yeah, I would. Something happened. It's Omo Chow. And this is how he treats it. Mm. One stream and never again. All right. I'm, I'm done with this. I'm so bored. I'm not playing this anymore. I'm serious.
Great job. This is why you're not a reviewer. Team is a complete waste of time. So the online play is worthless because you can't actually search, select, search for what you want. You can't do like a, 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 a lobby where you do random stuff instead. It's just single match after single match, which is boring, and no one ever plays. He's gonna play anything but the hundred meter ranks. That's the first thing there. Uh, the story mode's terrible. <clears throat> this game sucks ass. Um, yeah. Oh, what link? Oh, yes, I did see that. I read all the comments. I did see the link. Yes. Yeah, it's one of the worst things I've ever played in a long time. They they advertise it like they'd improved it dramatically with the story mode and online play, and both are, are terrible. So basically, this is a complete ripoff. And unless you're gonna play this with your friends <laughs> offline in a party mode, I would never buy this game. What? Shaking so much. All right. Well, I guess that's it for that. That was one of the worst outings I've had in gaming in quite some time. Uh, great. <laughs> Alrighty then. Oh, Modern Warfare. Taking Echo, stand by. Sure. Thank you, Timbo, for a cheers to the Call of Duty fan. I hate this mode. It's a Battlefield wannabe. The gunplay and movement of Call of Duty don't work in this mode. I would take Battlefield or Battle Royale. What's up? What's... I agree. I hate this mode. What's new with you? 100% agree with you. I hate it. I hate it. Enemy be told yet to be... Loves video games, guys. He hates it. Modern Warfare 2's uh, gameplay is about to show up in uh, April 30th. That's so fun. This mode sucked. I hated it. And then they got it together with uh, Warzone. I don't see it. I don't know. Oh, there it is. What? It hit the silo? It hit the silo. It didn't hit the fucking dude right there. Guys, he stinks. Enemy fucking sniper! I'm behind cover. He still kills me. Shoots through cover and kills me. Being shit like he always does. Enemy UAV. Shot me through the fence. Shit. That is really terrible. Let's do another game and then I'm going to get out of here for the day. That is it for that crap. I'm, we'll play some games. Play again. I don't see a reason to play it again. It's chaotically stupid. And not fun. So that is it for Ground War. Two thumbs fucking down for that fucking jumbled mess. He doesn't like anything. Oh, wrestling. If you smell <sighs> what Green Screen Man is cooking. Do Green Screen Man is cooking. Oh my God. Green Screen Man. Green Screen. Green Screen Man. Great. This is great gameplay. How did I miss? It made no sense. How am I missing again? You gotta be kidding me, dude. He's saying I'm missing. He's sitting directly in front of me and saying I'm missing. This is so fucking stupid. Yeah, I'm missing, alright. I didn't want to knock him down. Damn it. Do, 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 do. The Rock says. What? Somehow keeps saying I'm whiffing. Not in reverse. Now I have no reversal. He's going to eliminate me now because I have no reversal. Yeah, I can't do anything. Look, I can't do anything. He's going to eliminate me. Something I can do. It's over. Get it's over. Yep. 
got eliminated by The Rock. I'm not kidding. I'm deleting it right now. I'm done with it. The game sucks. <laughs> oh, is that the infamous the bad, WWE the worst game. one? 20 playthrough. The game is a piece of shit. It is not worth playing. It's not worth buying. It's really not. I put up with the playthrough. This is that month. the worst one yet? Yeah, that was the worst one. Rumble, and the game is so fucking badly made and broken. There the is game is no badly made or broken, game. but you're terrible. Again, I'm seriously done with this game. I would much rather at this point go back to my other chill late night streams. Like people have been asking me to play Throwback Street Fighter or Throwback Royale Street Fighter or Minecraft. Why am I still playing this? At this point, like tonight is the last straw. Seriously, tonight is the last straw. That is garbage. Not only do they expect you to, to do, eliminate seven, eight superstars in a Royal Rumble, then you have to beat The Rock with no reversals because you beat everyone else, and then the, the game blatantly cheats, and then you have to do the whole thing from the start if you lose with all the fucking stupid ass Cheats. In it. It's, this game fucking sucks ass. This game is terrible. This is the worst WWE I've ever played. No lie. It's the worst. By far, it's the worst WWE game I've ever played. I will play this again. In fact, you know what? I can't delete it because I'm going to play it again at Christmas. I'm going to do Christmas Sims. I am going to do uh -oh. a holiday, you know, fantasy Sims like I always do. So I am doing that around Christmas. But Got to do the fantasy Sims. Utter waste of everyone's time for me to keep playing this campaign. I'm done with it. So that's that. Enough of this shit. It sucks. The game is a piece of fucking terrible. All right, let's see one more wage quick game and then we'll get out of oh, here. Well, Thank yeah, you, everyone. You this long to figure out the game was a pile of flaming dog shit. No, you see, up to now it was fun to play. Up to now it was bad, but it was fair and winnable. Like the 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 bad part was the plot. The plot was absolutely terrible, and the voice acting was bad, and everything was you know the writing was cringeworthy, but it was fun. I just wasted an hour with one match, and they made it so poorly. I have no desire to ever play this game again. So, uh, Ganja Devil resubbed. Thank you, Ganja Devil, for a 12 month resub. And Ornice did 100 bit cheer, or excuse me, 50 bit cheers. Oh, you mean, oh, the superstar of Twitch. Let me solo her. I've heard so much about her, but I don't know. Just don't delete it because of the holiday. Anytime the, anyone mentions a streamer like that, I'm like, oh, okay. Tim, you're right. So, I calm myself down. I am not going to. I know, it's an Elden Ring streamer. Big ups. Uh, I am not going to delete the game. I need to save it so I can do the holiday sims around Christmas time. But that is 100% it. I am done with this fucking my career mode. It could burn in fucking holy hell. The people who made this game are fucking hacks. They don't deserve any money. The game it, it, is it me or it sounds like every fucking game he talks about? It's like these games deserve no money. There are a bunch of hacks. Game is a piece of fucking shit. Do not buy it this year. This game sucks. Yeah, I know about the meme. Our enemy team spawned over there at once, and they all ran forward together at once. Great. Oh, he really hated Modern Warfare, didn't he? one and the guy who spawned behind him got me yeah only the people in his head that say that uh. <clears throat> it's only him but people asked me to play this game did they phil do you want to play it fun I mean, it just seems like every game you play, you you literally waste quit everything. Die. I opened fire. It didn't work. I'm like, yeah, fire. Directing shooting right to the guy. Doesn't die. There's a patented uh, complaining. Get 
I saw him. I had no shot. I think ad money was still all right, or Patreon or something. It turns around. The subs are okay. But it might be early in the. What the fuck? Where you come from? Uh. Oh, there it goes. Bill does have no spatial awareness in games at all. The fuck were you looking for? The game is so bad. I just don't care anymore. I really don't. I, I just don't give a shit. The game is so fucking bad. I don't care. It's not it's bad. Your aim is terrible. Shooter at all. It's a fucking garbage game. With what the fuck are you talking about? And generally just a bad fucking design game. It's really poor. What the fuck are you talking first. about? I fired first. It's In the chest, you I idiot. First. Why keep playing? Why keep playing? Why am I even playing the game? I don't understand why I'm bothered. Then don't. Shut up and I don't. Kill someone because I shoot them first, but I die first. And what's the point of playing the game? Aim for the head, uh, dipshit. He already knew before I even went through the doorway. He already knew I was there and was firing at me. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. There it goes. I, it's not even worth talking. The game is so bad, I don't even need to commentate over it. It's just garbage. There's nothing fun about it. There's nothing interesting about it. You're still at liberty? <laughs> Fuck this game. I'm in something. I'm running in and three guys spawn ahead of me. I kill the first the two behind Most of those kills is from him. This game sucks. I might go. No, it doesn't. Beat it with something interesting, but this game is a piece of fucking shit, and I think I'm done with it. There's no point in playing it anymore. There's nothing fun about it. The spawns are terrible. The maps are terrible. The hit detection's terrible. The connections are terrible. Everything is bad. Oh my god! Everything you say in games is always this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, the hit detection's bad. I hate this. God, this is why your reviews are, are senseless. Like, seriously, the whole game is a terrible fucking waste of everyone's time and a mess and not fun to play at all. It's just not fun. That's the thing. <clears throat> With other Call of Duty games, even if I'm bad at them, I generally had fun playing them. You know what I mean? And in general, when I actually focused on them... You don't know how to aim. ...to Black Ops 4, if I focused on them, maybe played them once a week, I could at least do decently. This game is just awful. You're awful. I up on people. I fire. I die first every fucking time. It's as if my bullets have no effect. The connect because you're not shooting them in the head, you idiot. The connections are terrible. It's the same broken fucking netcode they've been using for years. They improved nothing. They put no effort into improving the online experience. Instead, they made it look better, which they did. The graphics look better. Outside of that, the gameplay fucking sucks. So I'm done with it. You know, like I said, if they update it with something worth playing, like let's say they actually do re release the Battle Royale that they claim that they're going to include for free, then maybe I'll come back to it and I'll check it out. But I really, really don't see a possible reason to play it again. It's just garbage. It's one. It's the worst Call of Duty I've played in the last five years. I would say the, the only one... Idiot. The one before, worse than this is Ghosts. Ghosts will still remain the worst one ever. But this is just very, very unfun. Even it's never, never points up why it's not fun, why this game is good or bad. It's always not fun. They're hacks. Bye. Even though, like I said, <clears throat> even with 
Black Ops 4. I didn't like the game, but I could concentrate on it and actually do pretty well and put on an entertaining stream. Even if overall I didn't like the game, um, I could still put out an entertaining stream of it by concentrating and doing well. This game, like, it's just so bad. It's not... It's not uh, you plot exactly what you're going to do. All right, I know the guy's around the corner. I heard his footsteps. I'm going to wait, or I'm going to get the drop on him. You do. You fire first. You hit four times, and then you instantly die. Why play the game? Why play it? You know? Seriously, why? There's just no point to ever play it again. Um. So I think I'm done with this. I really do. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to think, you know, this is something I was going to do weekly as, like, a Saturday night stream. We have to figure out something else to do in its place because... It's a shame. I wish, I wish it was like it used to be. So we're doing the hardcore gaming season. There would be a good four or five games that all have... Oh, wow. I remember back in the day, uh, Xenoblade got pushed up to July 29th. So, Xenoblade got pushed up to July 29th, not September. Interesting. Like a third person shooter that would come out with a multiplayer, like an Uncharted or something, or Gears of War. Not, not mad. I'm just like, oh, that game is real soon. Here, remember? I used to do these end-of-the-year multiplayer uh, events where I'd play five games with my viewers. Now there's, like, not a single fucking game that came out in the last three, four months that was worth playing online. They're all trash. <laughs> or, there's no, or there's no online component, right? Um, it's just sad, man. It's fucking sad. Um, I absolutely wish that it was different. Um, I see there's a Titanfall. I agree Titanfall 1 and 2. Those were interesting games to mix to put in the mix of multiplayer. It's like all the multiple games are gone. Everyone just plays Call of Duty because it's the only major first-person shooter out there right now. Um, that's sad. You know what I mean? Like, why play it just to play it? It's the only one. There should be a good game, but there's no good game right now. Very disappointing. Um, yep. All right, so... Yeah, I'm I'm done with this. Seriously, like I see no reason to waste any more time. Sooner than expected, July 29th. Really, really one of the worst I played in years. I actually liked Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and World War II better than this, and I didn't really like those games, but I like those games better than this. This is the least fun I've had playing Call of Duty in a long time. And this I gave it a try. You know, I played it in October when it came out. Uh I played it uh further in November, and now actually for like three straight weeks I gave it a chance, and it's just not growing not only is it not growing on me. It's just making me hate it. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm done with it. I'm absolutely done with it. Okay? Um, so anyway, I want to say thanks to those who did tune into my my online gameplay coverage uh, of this game. I tried. You know, I really did. I gave it the, I say, they gave it the old college try. I didn't want to give up. I was hoping. Because it's dead and he's going to play it? I mean, I'm definitely getting Xenoblade 3, you know. It's gonna happen. If I stuck with it and I kept playing, there would be a light he did. in the tunnel. There's no light. It's like, it's like Metallica says, the light is just a freight train coming your way. You think it's Metallica? What do you know about Metallica, Phil? It's gonna get better. It just gets fucking worse and more annoying and less fun. And I want I'm playing games to have fun. No, you don't play games to have fun. You you play games to milk the shit out of them. I'm not playing games to frustrate milk me. man. A game that's subpar and a ripoff. And that's what this game really is. The campaign's good. The online play is a fucking ripoff. It's trash. You're so, trash. I'm done with this. All right. If there ever is another free update of an interesting map you guys want to see me check out, I'll try it, but there's no guarantee I'll play it. I like the crash map. I can't play on it. In two whole sessions, four hours of gameplay, I played the map twice because the game doesn't allow you to fucking choose what map you want to play on and the rotation doesn't select it. The auto rotation of the fucking stupid playlist. Um, if it comes up a battle royale, I'll give it a go for sure. I want to try that out because, you know, Black Ops 4 Blackout was quite good. <clears throat> It's almost kind of like the flip side of, of Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 didn't have a campaign, but I played the living shit out of Battle Royale, and every once in a while I played the multiplayer. Um, this game has no Battle Royale, and the multiplayer shit. I did play the campaign, though, and the campaign was alright, so it's kind of a mixed bag, but at this point, I got way more value out of Black Ops 4 than I'm ever going to get out of Modern Warfare, unless there's something interesting actually happens in the game with something like Battle Royale added to it, but alright, I'm done with this. I'm seriously done with this, um, and what I would say is I would like you guys to think about what you would like to see me play in place of this once a week. Usually around Saturday nights, I have open stream. It could just be retro stuff. You know, it could be Genesis or SNES games or whatever. Or it could be something completely different. But I'm done. I'm not wasting any more time on this game. Number one, I'm not having fun. Indeed. Two, you guys aren't having fun. Because look, not I'm having fun. Aging, Number are... two, you're not having fun. I don't like the game and I suck at the game. And no, you know, the contributions are low. So if that's the case, it means no one likes the stream. What's the point to keep playing it? Right? What's the point? So I'm not going to bother anymore. I mean, I'm not upset that it's coming out July 29th. I'm like, okay. That game's coming sooner. Maybe they're pounding on it harder. Or maybe development's going really well. Who knows? It happens. But that's good to see. All right. Xenoblade, July. All right, everyone. I'm getting out of here. Up and out of mat. I will see you later for more gaming. I'm not working today, so... 
I will see you more for gaming in a little bit. Thank you all for, uh, you know, for whatever that was. That was pill complaining like a bitch. Thank you all, and thanks for watching.